sorry, I just I can't stop looking at myself in this tiny screen. Yeah. How do you how do you think you look? Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even no, tell. No, you some fella. You, you guys do. are so far away. I feel I want to like I wanna yeah. be closer. You want to you, know you want to be more tactile. Yeah. Oh, I want to be. I want to feel present. Yeah. Yeah. The presence. Yeah. Are y'all indeed. recording right now? Is this, are we yeah. doing it? Oh, what are your, this is our cold open. This is our cold <laughs> open. Yeah. Can we get, get closer? Is, what are your What are your love languages? <laughs> My love. What do you think? A physical touch for sure. No, not no, not no. Oh, not really. okay. What is my? What are my words of aff? No, uh, acts of service. Acts of service, which sounds like a freaky one. You know yeah, it I mean? does. It does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Serve me. Yeah. Serve me. I'm also really into acts of service. So I, can I am too. That. That's. My, I think that's my. It's not necessarily my favorite way of receiving love, but it's my favorite way of showing love. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. Like you'll do something nice. Yeah. yeah. But it's like I feel so intense about like if my girlfriend like does something like cleans the apartment or something i get i come home i'm like this is so, that's so sweet you know yeah. i feel the same way right? is it because you're all so messy <laughs> no i don't think i'm messy yeah. but i do mm. uh i have a way of living where i'll like place my keys on the table and she like every everything has a place you know what i mean i agree with her i just like always forget to do that yeah mm. but i think i'm a pretty clean person overall do you mm. have the odd sh- the ADHD, what? The ADHD. The odd. Uh, I think a little, a little on. The yeah. odd. Ad- you got the odd. The ad- Is that what the kids are saying? Yeah. Ad- the odd. Ad- yeah. yeah. The ad- That's ad- what we're saying. I, I am confused by speaking of ADD. Is is ADHD a, a part of ADD? I think it's the same thing. It's just a new name. It's like gay and queer. <laughs> Like the debate I don't know what either of those things right are. So could you, yeah, me you neither. And thank God, <laughs> they're just fun things you can do with letters. Is that like a medical condition? Or? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> gay, Being so gay, yes, yes. Gay is more like a head high, and then it's <laughs> like more of a body high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it now. Yeah, it's like yeah. drugs. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I love feeling high. Yeah. Being what, bi yeah. is Delta Eight. Yeah. <laughs> Delta eight scary. That shit yeah. will fuck you up. Yeah. Yeah. That's like, that's kill people, people, right? Has it? Sorry, I have no idea. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what I just heard like these strains have killed people. I'm what? thinking no. COVID. I'm thinking the oh. strains of COVID. Oh, oh Delta, yeah. Delta Omicron, eight. Yeah, 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 my bad. Yeah. yeah, not less so. A drug. They're putting COVID in the gummies now. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can get them anywhere on the street. Yeah, yeah. Omicron head, body, hybrid. What are we feeling? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love how you brought that up because before you're like, I feel like I don't want to believe my thoughts, and I feel like that's one of the thoughts you don't want to believe. But you believe oh, it. I don't want to believe any of my thoughts. <laughs> my, oh, no. Whenever my girlfriend and I fight, it's always her being like, "I am taking you seriously," and I'm like, "Stop." <laughs> I don't want to hear that. it. This is interesting because I always take everybody seriously. No. It's you think an you're issue. A gullible person? I'm a very gullible person. I it's really written am. on the ceiling. Oh, he was going to do it. <laughs> he was going to do it. He was, was like, Can I tell you? No, this last, is my apartment. <laughs> last night at Heart Bar, uh, Millie Tamarez, Okay, uh, she literally was like, oh, what's that on your shirt? Dung, and did that to me. Nice. And Whoa. I That's fell kind of, for it. I did not see it coming. Tale as old as time. Yeah. yeah. A little flirty, I would say. Is Millie in love with you? I know Millie, hey. so <laughs> you're listening. <laughs> hey. Shoot your you shot. You to find me. <laughs> No, I, I don't. In this apartment. I don't think so. I know that made you uncomfortable. I'm sorry for bringing that up. Yeah, it's 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 yeah. a little bit triggering. Can you? Not? Can I, yeah, I'm sorry. Can you yeah. listen and learn and <laughs> yeah. strive to be better? We had a nice conversation last night, briefly. We did. Yeah. Yeah. You said. What did you, you guys talk about? <laughs> well, I talked about you. B- about me. That's what? why it was a nice conversation. We said some stuff. What yeah. would you say? That you're so funny and cool. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. And so pretty. <laughs> so admirable. So, so admirable. Ugh. <laughs> this is horrible. So altruistic. Do you see the way well, I like can't take it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My body can't take it. Are you bad with compliments? Do you feel oh, that? I have a joke about it now. How I'm oh, yeah? terrible. Yeah, how I feel like I'm genuinely like if I take in one compliment, I just like won't be able to stop and I'll get addicted. My Whoa. friends will have to throw me an intervention. Addicted to compliments. Yeah. The- You're on the corner like, hey, can I get a Yeah, yeah that's in the more, joke more, that I'm in a more. that I'm in a yeah. back alley and a dealer is going like, uh, your shoulders are broad. <laughs> 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 your your dad's hot. And I'm like, uh, hey, he's half of me. <laughs> Wait, is your dad you- actually hot? Oh, he is hot. My, wow. dad's, a, my dad's a good look. A, a Meerkats listener wrote in the other day. Shout out mm. to you, anonymous listener. Mm-hmm. Nice. And uh, he, she, they asked if my dad was single. Good because, save. Yeah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> he, they asked if, yeah. <laughs> uh, if my dad was single. And um, he's not, but I guess anything can happen. Yeah, just because there's a goalie. He yeah. doesn't mean he can score. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hotties are hotties. My mother. Mother, yeah. <laughs> one, of the best, one of the best in the biz, but you know. 
She's Sometimes really, she best. played for the Olympic team last year. Are you fucking? Are you kidding? Catching me? loose vaginas. Yeah, I was like, what? Thrown his way. Yeah. I felt like I was gold. I was like, what team? Tell me now. That sounds um, sick. South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my mother is South African. Is she really? Yeah. Mm. Do you have a joke about this too? I feel like I'm now realizing I don't listen to anything so you've I ever actually... said in my life. <laughs> 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 Nobody's ever listened to my set. <laughs> I do feel that I have this effect on stage, and let me know if this is true. Where like. I'll get off stage and people will be like, good set, but then they won't remember a word I said. Oh, yeah. yeah. I yeah. Well, I have a similar issue where there's people that I think are really funny and I remember loving their material, but yep. I can't remember yeah. a joke sometimes. I'm with see you, yeah. so much comedy. That's Yeah, it's just yeah. overload. So you're just like, I can't. Yes. I don't have room in my brain. I have a, I have a similar question. Uh, sort oh, of great. like, which I think may be... Uh, okay, I have an idea of what I think you're going to say. Okay. When you listen to music, yeah. do you listen to the lyrics? No, same. And okay. that's what I thought about you. Wait, why? Why'd you think that? That's no, because I think because they're... you're dumb. because yeah, <laughs> you can't uh... read. Because you're a bad person. <laughs> yeah, no, that's um, fair. No, because I think there may be something to that where you're kind of listening more to like the music of the material yeah. and the delivery of it rather totally. than the actual words. Like you remember, like you listen to the words and it it causes you to respond and understand it. But right. maybe you don't remember it as well as for someone sure. who I think maybe listens to music for the lyrics would remember them. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I think uh, there's also an element of, especially in comedy. Oh God, here we go. We're doing it. We're oh, analyzing. Yeah. We're, it. we're analyzing comedy. Yeah. Yes. Before yeah, it's just me. before we get in <laughs> deep, yeah. let's say welcome to Two Nosy Meerkats podcast. Welcome to Two Nosy Meerkats. Before nice. you get any further, if you're interested in exclusive bonus content, subscribe to our Supercast. Yes, it is. I think Supercast dot Two Nosy Meerkats. I could be so wrong about the URL, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will, we will add it to our uh, YouTube description. We, uh, If you go on our Instagram, you'll be able to find a link immediately in our link tree to our Supercast. It's right there. We're going to be uploading uh, bonus content with bonus questions with our guest today. Fantastic comedian, co-producer of Jerry Seinfeld Presents in New York City. Give a round of applause for Art Kai. Hey, thanks. Art Kai, what's your philosophy on comedy? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was hoping we'd move back, we'd past that. Uh, no, so I think, um, like, professional comics, they are more professional comics or more uh, seasoned comics. They are uh, more articulate, and they can hold – an audience better and you remember their shit better because they're just like well more well they're more practiced to do that mm. right so sometimes if you're like water all over no myself. that's all right i saw it i don't want you know it i'm not seized we've all been wet before anyway uh speak for yourself <laughs> yeah it's right true. i'm i'm dry as hell uh Good. yeah and i feel like with i don't know like the comedy that you know we consume a lot which are mainly like indie shows DIY mm. shows uh people working at it it's not they're not as uh seasoned which is just, it comes with time you know what i mean yeah so no, it's absolutely. like that's why i forget a lot but if, if i see like a professional comic i'm like i remember their bits way better because i feel like they're just uh, way better at yeah you know um, just like the way it's like measured and written it's just it's, yeah it just sticks in it's your just mind like more. polished yeah yeah i also think there's polished. a cadence among our peers to be less polished because yeah. that's like kind of the style in right. like Brooklyn, mm, lower casual. Manhattan right now. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Basically, like it's just a conversation with the audience. Totally. I think yeah. there's also like a similar voice that a lot of people use when doing like certain bits like, uh, uh, like that yeah, sort yeah, of yeah, thing. Yeah. Like that's that's such the a common voice. thing. How that... is it, Lucas? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, oh, you weren't listening? See, this is the problem. <laughs> yeah. this I don't is the listen problem. to the lyrics. This is what I have to deal mouth. with. No, it's sort of like, uh, 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 uh. See, that's like a joke that. I will remember. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> no remember. I, that's the only thing I've that's ever remembered only, yeah. you saying. That's my favorite bit of yours, actually. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. That's fun. my that's my sliced alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I do remember oh, one of your bits is about like working in a restaurant family. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Tell us about that. Tell you yes. you I want, I want you to hear about. Well, uh, my mom owned a Thai restaurant uh, in Nebraska, where I'm from, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I just worked there growing up because she needed work, and I made a little bit of money, and it was a fun time. Nice. What was your first job in the restaurant? Yeah, I was just I've been a waiter the whole time. Never, never changed. How how young were you when you first started working there? Ooh, probably like 13, 14. Wow. You were young. like the cutest waiter ever. Well, yeah. Well, I don't know about that, but it was definitely very illegal. I don't think I was like, <laughs> really in many such ways. A fine line <laughs> between you... child labor and yeah, illegal. <laughs> exactly. Did they and pay, being cute? What? Did they pay you? What was the rewarding? My mom like paid me. It was okay. like. Uh, 
it was it was in cash. I don't know if I yeah. should be saying that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she's about to retire soon, whatever. And uh, he's never paid taxes on it. Not one Yeah, time. I've never paid. No, but it was like tips. Oh, mm. oh, you got tips, tips as well? Uh, I think it was technically just tips, just mm. a tip. Uh, mm. Yeah, so it was like legal in that way. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Do you, do you, are you supposed to like report tips? I guess if a certain amount, I don't right? think so. Okay. I You're not no supposed to report it. any of your earnings to the government. <laughs> yeah, no. A- ever. You're not. Su- if you make any money, hide that shit. Yeah, we don't endorse illegal. paying taxes on this podcast. <laughs> Imagine we get audited, audited because of this yeah. episode. Oh, God, yeah. That'd I pay funny. all my taxes. I pay my taxes I pay so my taxes. hard. Art yeah. does as well, allegedly. Mm-hmm. I, pay, I actually I'm not saying, pay I'm not saying a thing. I pay them more. I, I they give not. me the refund. Yeah, I'm like, uh, no thanks. I'm like, hey. Buy yourself something. You overpay. Yeah, because you love the government. Yeah, the U.S. <laughs> Treasury. I th- I Venmo them a little bit. Oh, I'm like, yeah. hey, get yourself a little treat. <laughs> Here's a tip. Yeah. Yeah. 20%. Every day, I, I personally send two cents to Joseph Biden. <laughs> Joseph Robinette jo- Biden. Yeah. Well, I, I know about- you're a huge fan of John Kerry. Kids for Kerry. Oh my God! You remembered. <laughs> Oh, I'm telling man. you guys, I listen to I listen to you guys so much. Oh, uh, guys, thank super, you. What's your favorite Two Nosy Meerkats episode? Oh my god, that's a great question. I mean, it's just there's they're all so I listen to the ones where I'm like, these are my friends. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's most of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I really like the one with Linda, Linda Smith, the teacher. Oh, that was yeah. awesome. That was a really so fun episode. Yeah, dude, she's, she's so awesome. cool. Because yeah. she's just been in the business for so long, and she's like such an interesting perspective to have on yeah. comedy and stuff. And you guys yeah. seem to be seasoned. Yeah. yeah. And she's just Definitely. like so nice and like. Oh, she's so sweet. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever do a class? What What was Never. like? What was your intro to comedy? Intro to uh, yes. great question. Uh, I moved here and I started doing improv and then mm-hmm. started doing a little sketch and then did stand up. I did stand. Okay, I lied. I did stand. I, I took a stand up class in college, but it wasn't like here's how to do stand up. It was like it's called, it was a women in stand up comedy class. I'm a feminist. Whoa, uh, hot. Yeah, we just learned. And you took a spot that could have gone to a woman. So, oh God, well, the true. class was like 20, 20 women and like seven guys. So mm. yeah, the sounds ratio like it, was, sounds like it could have been twenty seven women, women. And yeah. uh, art is not an ally. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm not. I was like, I actually told a girl to drop out, and then someone <laughs> took the spot. And that woman that became Sarah Silverman. Sarah Silverman. Yeah. Feel, feel old that? yet? <laughs> yeah. I feel yeah. like this mic is sinking. So oh, I have to like, me, should I move? Lucas I'll, I'll is lay like this. You. I'm so sorry. Hold on, I can look. That's okay. I, I didn't make... want to like. I didn't want to like ruin anything. No, 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 no. You're not ruining. Really... But I, I just wanted to. I know this is like a question that um, non-comics ask comics all the time, and it's okay. like, frustrating. But like, I do think it's important to ask. Like, are your parents funny? Mm, my mom's pretty silly. Yeah. Mm. I wouldn't call her like super funny, but she's like a little silly. Like she, she doesn't speak English very well. And so I think she realizes that and kind of leans into it a little bit. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Of course. And it's like sort of like this uncomfortable funniness sometimes, especially to like her patrons. Like she'll just like say, oh. say things wrong and they'll be like, I don't know how to respond to this. And it's like, for me, it's like pretty funny. Oh, did she give you like a little wink? Like she's like, I know what I'm I doing. I don't know if she realizes what she's doing, but I think okay. she... Well, okay. I think she realizes she's not like communicating a hundred percent, and but she like doesn't care. And I think that's why it's funny. I see. She's like, "Fuck it, I don't. Yeah, I'm gonna say these words wrong. I'm gonna make no sense, and it doesn't matter to me." I kind of yeah. love that. Yeah. Do you, do you have an example of something that's stuck in your mind, of, like something God. that she said? I I can't remember a thing uh, specifically because I, I haven't forget. worked in I haven't worked in the restaurant. What's up with all these mics sinking, Lucas? I know. What's going on? Well, it's the earthquake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh God! Yeah. My floors are made of quicksand. Okay, we are sinking, yeah, which is nice. That'd be nice to die in quicksand. Have you guys thought about that? Be like cozy. It actually oh, I used to be really so scared of it. Yeah. Oh no, I think it sounded nice. What? It's a slow death. Yeah, but it's like you can like accept it. Also, I hear yeah, you accept it easier. I hear quicksand actually isn't like real. Have you guys heard this? I. What? They're no, talking about is. the news. I don't know. <laughs> They're talking about it. it has We're to talking be. about it. I've seen so it's many movies about it. It has to be real. Well, it's a movie thing. You know what I mean? It's a mo- it's yeah. I'm sorry, my worldview is getting well, shit. Why do you think like John Mulaney has that joke like we all thought quicksand was going to be more important than it <laughs> yeah, actually yeah, yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. And I I think that that is true, but I think yeah. that the reason it's not that important is because it's not real. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You know uh me and my girlfriend call you John Mulaney? Oh. Yeah, I was like I'm going to John Mulaney's house right now. Oh. And she's like, Whoa. "Oh, Lucas, Hart. yeah, is that funny?" Cuz she's seen you on TikTok. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, I feel like you're like, "Ah, oh, I don't want that to be my thing." I'm sorry <laughs> that's your thing. What, <laughs> she, what does she do? What does she do? She's an associate producer at Nightline. 
That's... Yeah, she also gets Lucas's name wrong. That's what she does. <laughs> yeah, she's dead naming yeah. you. She's you don't you don't like her. <laughs> That's fair. Honestly, I you don't like her either. You should be John Mulaney. I yeah. did until yeah. the accident. Until right. the accident. Well, I think I think she saw you. That's the only thing she's seen of you. That's you fair. know what I mean. And so she. Oh no, I understand the association. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, of course. She hasn't seen his open mic comedy. <laughs> yeah. That's. So I have ridiculous. been sending her stuff, but she which goes, is what I'm John trying Mulaney? to be known for. Me too. Hell yeah. You're trying to get known for my open mic comedy. For Lucas's open, I've been stealing. Lucas's sets through I've been like my mom is black my, da- my dad is dead my dad, my dad is, is dead, dead. Yeah. yeah my dad's like sitting in the audience watching I'm like you're, hey play dead <laughs> <laughs> you're dead you're dead damn you guys you guys both would be really good for I'm doing a sh- I'm doing a show tonight not to brag it's called Whoa. Freaky Friday and we're oh. switching sets switching sets yeah oh. yeah you guys would be great for it I would I'll tell, love I'll tell to do I would love to oh, yeah, yeah. who be are you switching with Fernando Ruiz a good pal of mine oh, oh we're gonna man. have Fernando on wait <gasps> that awesome. leads into a nice pivot yeah last night I started watching Seinfeld okay I have never seen Seinfeld You've never seen Seinfeld wow. before ever what do you think I just kind of like skipped past that in my childhood that's fair it's I also, honestly me too. fucking good yeah it's good <laughs> it's oh yeah really i got good. into it in college okay I, I tried watching it one time as a kid i was like i don't get this this isn't funny yeah and then i and then i older. needed to mature and i was like oh this is amazing i didn't appreciate it until i moved here i was like oh this is a new york show you know what i mean yeah like, everything feels new york-y yeah to me. You know i'm I mean? sorry to say this because i promised my girlfriend i would not <laughs> tell anyone this but uh oh when we were watching seinfeld we were both high out of our minds and if you guys don't remember uh, in Seinfeld, Jerry Seinfeld's not a famous comedian yet. He's yeah. just a guy who does comedy shows mm, right. and hangs out with his friends and talks about dumb bits. So Sylvie looks at me and goes, is this what your life is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can say my life is Seinfeldian. <laughs> and I was kind of like, that's an eviscerating question, but like, yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of a, she's like do that's you just funny. talk about dumb shit with your friends all day and then like, talk about yeah. that on stage at night and right. i was like that's exactly you like, kind of nailed kind it. of yeah but that's like <laughs> what friends do right yeah. Like, yeah yeah we just kind of shoot the shit do bits and then sometimes if you're a comedian you'll just bring those bits to a stage mm. yeah you know? so tell sylvia to shut the fuck up yeah mm. i should i, I don't should. even know her i'm sorry do you find D- sylvia oh. and lauren should fight to the death should fight yeah, yeah. oh yeah. good yeah. That's great. Yeah. Who do you think would win in a fight, Sylvia or? Lauren? She's scrappy. I yeah, think so I think Sylvia would win. Mm. Oh, Lauren yeah. scrappy. Yeah. She's like a she's like five three. She's pretty short. So I don't okay. know. Mm. How tall is Sylvie? Uh, I think five four. Oh, oh okay. Gonna oh, win. Lauren's gonna win. Yeah. <laughs> Got her beat. Oh, but yeah. I will say I, pro- I feel like Lauren has uh, a lot of fight in her. She'll probably yeah. Like, she'll like She'll probably win. Yeah. But she's not like a strong person. No. But if she's <laughs> like a, she's weak and she's pathetic. Weak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking though if she's a little bit shorter that means she's got a lower center of gravity so she oh. be so she, it would be difficult to like throw her off. Right. I think she'd be more Have you done have you fought before Lucas? No. Okay. I, I did take martial arts when I was uh, this is uh, where a kid, it, yeah. but um, I don't remember much about like actual fighting. I know how to like roll and fall well and like protect myself in the event of impact. Yeah, mm. but I don't remember actually like how to. Lucas really... always be rolling. I do be. <laughs> yeah. I do be. I do be. I do be rolling, dude. Weed shit's tight. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the gay stuff, am I right? Yeah, <laughs> the drugs. Rolling yeah. sticks. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I feel. Do you like, fight I don't know. well? Do I fight what now? Oh okay. I feel like I, f- I feel like you'd be a type of dude. I feel like I get a vibe that you would tr- you would have tried out Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, only because I have done that. And I feel okay. like we're sort How of similar it? in that way. It was actually pretty fun. Yeah. Okay. I was the most sore I've ever been in my life the day after because it's a full body thing. Right. Mm. And you're like grabbing the whole time. <laughs> yeah. It's I'm a lot hard. of grabbing. Yeah. 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 Which yeah is cool. Do you just want to fight right now? Do you, you want to roll? Is that, that's hey. what they call it. I'm down to <laughs> that's roll. That's what dude. it is. <laughs> I'm yeah. really into stopping, dropping, and rolling. Okay, yeah. that's part yeah, of it. That's... Okay, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't want to get burned a little bit? Ooh. Oh, my God. Wait, that reminds me. I don't know if I've ever told this story on the podcast, but I used to have this gym teacher in, like, fifth grade. Uh, so did we all. Yeah, so did we all. I, and you know what? I pride myself on being a really universal yeah. experience you're kind big, of person. Ubiquitous. Yeah, yeah. Undeniable. He would line us all up. I guess that sounds like more horrifying than it actually is. He'd line the kids up. And he'd have a gun. And he had a gun. <laughs> yeah. He'd say who He's wants ready. to die. <laughs> he would say, um, he would go one by one and see if our shoes were untied. And he'd, oh he'd say that's because one time there was a young woman i knew who died in a fire because she was running away from the flames and she tripped on her shoelaces so always tie your shoes all i'm hearing is that he watched her trip yeah didn't and didn't Didn't help help at all yeah 
and I watched her die. Yeah. Well, what I'm hearing is that story is made up. <laughs> yeah. Like, what I'm hearing is that's obviously Yeah, it's the more logical. True. Yeah. That's funny. I, I, I'm pretty sure I remember teachers making up obvious lies just to scare us into oh, good for sure. habits. Um, that's all dare, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know if those are lies per se, but they were it's scare tactics. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I this- think it was all true. <laughs> I don't think people should smoke weed. Yeah, I agree. I think it fries your brain. Yeah. Do you actually feel that way? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're gullible. <laughs> I just want to have an honest, intimate connection. Yeah, you're not going to get that here. Yeah, this what is, you, this what is bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh, all, that's all I should have known. I listened to hours of this podcast and never... Uh... I love weed, but it does. Fry, it, do, it probably does fry my brain. I actually, bit, I have recently decided I actually want to not like abstain from it completely, but re- kind of drastically cut down on it because I think yeah. it's made me more anxious. Interesting. And just, and like affected... It's a very it common d- thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I had an experience where I was like, oh, this is not... I don't feel good because of this. Yeah. And... Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm cutting down a little well, bit. Well, I have noticed every single time you're super high, and I yeah. thought it. Yeah? And I told other people about it, so. Good. I needed that. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm kidding. I've never noticed. I remember we were so. at a party once where another guy whose name I will not mention was like, hey, Lucas, no one can tell that you're high. <laughs> like, you just can't. Oh, that's so and then, good. And then I you was were, there. Yeah. And you, and no, and you were there and you were like, dude, don't be mean. <laughs> yeah, we were. Out, I remember this. You were, we were outside waiting or trying to figure out where to go. Yeah. Yeah. Where were we? No, we were, were in someone's about? apartment. No, we were outside the we were inside the apartment, and then the bit traveled outside. To oh, to yes, it did. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. right. You were yeah, also yeah. there. Was yeah, I? Yeah, my memory yeah. isn't. What apartment? Oh, yeah, you were there. What you apartment? You were wearing was a very it? puffy coat. I was. It you was were? uh for a Lunar New Year party. Yes. Oh yeah. 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 I, remember. I think I remember that because I was like, dude, don't be mean. And then I leaned into him like, Lucas, everybody knows. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to mess with you, and you're like, what? And I'm like, I'm just kidding. But actually, you need to chill. <laughs> And you're like, what? I'm like, dude, relax. Yeah. But everybody's wondering. And just you know? go, uh, just yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. That's my favorite thing to do. Just playing a yo-yo with my emotions. Yeah. Yeah. I do want to say also, uh, we chose, I mean, to go back to the Seinfeld thing because mm-hmm. yes. it's on my mind. Yes. We did choose that name like ironically. We're not like super fans. I guess Fernando is a little bit, but like me and Meredith are not. Super. I want to make that clear. Can I? Can I? Wait, t- wait, I want to defend I myself. You go first. I need to ask. Them. So, like, <laughs> please tell me that, like, a year into doing the show, like, right. you and Meredith talked about like doing the name ironically, and then Fernando was like, "Wait, you guys don't like the show a lot." <laughs> We I haven't thought, had. <laughs> I thought we were all doing it because we're enthusiasts. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It's like we haven't fully defined the relationship a year in. It's sort of like a will they, won't they, like mm. keep the name thing. Okay. So yeah, I think that's if, where the uh, appeal is. What other names, if any, were on the chopping block? None. None. Okay. That's, we're not creative enough to think of okay. another name. It also, I don't know. I I feel bad because people. We've had people come and they're like, "Is Jerry? Is Jerry coming?" Yeah. It's like, dude, no, you're in a fucking tiny ass cafe at a free yeah. show there's no way he's coming we had a similar thing with bad. Anne Hathaway yeah, 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 yeah. Show. there's oh my god there was one time somebody uh requested their money back on Eventbrite and Oof. they wrote us a note yeah. and they said um dear whoever this is um I see that you are <laughs> whoever falsely this is. using uh the likeness of Anne Hathaway to promote your comedy show when <laughs> I, I did some research and she doesn't actually do do comedy, comedy? <laughs> And I was God. like, what, in what world were we? Yeah. W- was it the Photoshop where Dan Wicks' head <laughs> is on Helena Bottom Carter's body? He looked hot. Kissing Anne Hathaway. Hathaway? Yeah. Was that what gave away that it's not actually her? Yeah. People it, can be really dumb. It's, I it's, know. It makes yeah. me like, I don't want to say that people are dumb, but some people are like, act like truly dumb. Yeah. You know? I wish I didn't send that message. <laughs> yeah, I wish you didn't either. I'm gullible. Did you give them the money back or you charged them more? No, we gave them the money back, but we also wrote them a note back being like, um, yeah. so if you look closely at the page, you'll see that the photoshops are cartoonish, make no sense, and do not indicate that Anne right. Hathaway was here. They do yeah. not inspire trust. Yeah. Why are you trusting <laughs> Why are you us? doing this, yeah. you idiot? There's yeah. one we have where like, it's some there's like a comedian at the beach like we find like really old pictures of people yeah and Anne Hathaway is like in the ocean like drowning like waving <laughs> at them and I'm like what in what, what world, world would yeah. Anne Hathaway <laughs> yeah. have agreed do, to that? do this yeah yeah I think people are just like really internet illiterate 
you know oh, they'll yeah. kind of just fall for every, anything so when you started your show w- for the uninitiated jerry seinfeld presents a show run by art yeah and just me no one else no one no. else if they people tell you otherwise they're lying no, no uh, run it's by true. art and two clingers on <laughs> yes yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> barely know them they just showed up one day they're one actually of them, first yeah. to a mic in there i was like i guess you guys are helping out yeah one yeah. of them's ginger you know about gingers don't <laughs> trust them don't um trust them. she but, she actually was one of the i think had a really good episode here Oh, oh Meredith, friend good. of the pod, Meredith Dietz. We had a very fun time with yeah. her. Oh, my you God. You should check out that episode. Oh, and had one of the best jokes that it like became a clip that just blew up online. Yeah. Well, remind me. Oh, it was um, it was like I was t- telling a story about when I uh, broke up with my ex-boyfriend the day after his grandmother's funeral because I was going to bro- break up with him and then his grandma died. And Meredith goes, yeah. Well, you can't date someone without a grandma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it just caught us so off guard. Uh, she's so good, like, riffing. So like, good off the cuff. Oh, my so God. Quick. What is that? She's so She's, so she's a prodigy good. like that. Yeah. She really yeah. is. Incredible. We'll, we'll just be hanging out. She'll just say something. We'll just be dying laughing for, like, a minute. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, she's amazing. fucking infuriates me. Yeah. I know. I'm so envious of that. Yeah. I'm so envious of that ability. I got to prepare my bits. Yeah. yeah. And whenever I interact with anybody. Can I, I ask her? Is there... <laughs> it's a very canned Yeah, yeah. And I got to, yeah. I got to, like, organically find a way to... Insert my bits. How do you feel your comedy has changed over the course of doing this show? God, amazing, amazing uh, question. Uh, I think I've just gotten more comfortable on stage, and that's the biggest, the biggest takeaway. That's great. Yeah. That's Did you start out boring. comfortable on stage, like when you started doing stand up? No. Nah, one of my was first shaking. No, what, my like first wreckage in the storm. Just not, uh, dude, it was bad. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel like I was overconfident too. I was like, this shit, it's easy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but then I did the first one. Well, the first open mics I did here was like 2018, 17, and it was at. Oh. I don't know if you guys have heard of this bar. It's oh. nice. Uh, oh. and I remember trekking. I will there. have to bleep that out. Why? Just because. Oh, like right. You don't know. I'm, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Damn. Well, it's somewhere in New York City. Yeah. Uh, and it was uh, there's there's a big open mic there. I, it was it was it was snowy that day, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna trek out. This is it. This is the start of my comedy journey. I'm gonna do it. And I went there, and uh, I was a bucket mic, and they called me second. And I was like, oh, shit. All right. I, I know my bits. I know my bits. And I get up there, forget all of my bits. Oh. So nervous. <laughs> it was like four minutes. And I was just standing up there. And I'm like, uh, well, I have forgotten everything I've said. And so I'm just going to give the time back to the room. <laughs> and I just oh. walked off stage because I was just so nervous. Oh, you know, that's God. the best set that there could be at an open mic. Right. Because yeah. everyone's like, four everyone's like, yeah. back to the room. Everyone's like, fuck yeah. Yeah. yeah I got pretty, yeah. pretty good What response. a good guy. Yeah. Just like, no. <laughs> And I, I remember just like beelining to the door and leaving because I was just so embarrassed. Oh my god! Yeah. So did you ever like, do comedy in Nebraska? Yeah, I did. Yeah. So I think, uh, yeah, I was just real nervous all the time, trying yeah. to trying to work on my bits. I was an I was a one liner comedian for a while. Whoa! That was a big yeah. I loved one liners, and so that was. Do you like, have? Do you remember any that you could share? Yeah, I remember some. Unfortunately, uh, one of them is a big kind of hacky bit where uh, a girl came up to me at a bar, asked me what my sign is, and I said stop. You know, that's <laughs> a classic. That's good. Um, I tried being a one-liner comedian really? in college. Yeah, I I joined this group very briefly that put on shows, and I went to a few like. Uh, like workshopping sessions yeah, yeah. and I got so scared I just stopped and I never came back but one of the jokes I tried which bombed so hard I said um it, if you think about it penguins are Polish penguins I don't even know Polish. what the because f- of the South Pole it doesn't work oh! see it doesn't work it doesn't work oh! oh! this is why I'm no longer a do, one-liner comedian I do like it though you know the thing about that is that penguins have actually gone through a lot of oppression <laughs> for that. Yeah. So I think the reason I don't it respect didn't work, their sovereignty right. or rights. It's just like a really sensitive topic. That's yeah. I think that's why it didn't land because people yeah. Yeah, people are still a little traumatized. Yeah. I'm about to cry. No, there's there's things that are like. Oh, you're part of, penguin. A part. Well, my my family is. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I'm American, so. Uh, well, you don't have to like you know. Modify. Be defensive. No. Yeah. Well, I am American. You should just accept your penguin. Penguin heritage. heritage? No, I can't. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> Well, I'm, really, I'm projecting a little bit, but yeah, I can't. Well, I'm really sorry to hear that. Okay, like, thank you. As an ally myself, like I think that you should really embrace it. Yeah. You remember know, those signs know, back tra- in the early 1900s? Like, no Irish need apply, no penguins. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I do. Yeah. No, my family, uh, yeah. the diaspora for, for penguins runs pretty deep. And it's uh, pretty traumatic and uh, it's a generational thing. But, uh, you mm-hmm. know, whatever, guys. <laughs> <laughs> 
my mind just got so smooth. <laughs> my brain so smooth in that moment. I was like, okay. Oh, I just figured out a question I want to ask him oh, for yes. the supercast. Oh, yes. Yeah. The supercast. Oh, for the super. Oh, yes. Yeah. Write it down. Let's yeah. fucking write it down go, it's, it's dude. Juicy. Write it down. So, yeah. um, one thing I wanted to ask. So, how long have you been with your uh, girlfriend? Uh, we're going to hit five years in June. Whoa. Whoa. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Oh, Pretty my chill. God. Um, can I, was there ever a period where, because I think that something that a lot of comedians deal with is that they're worried about getting too comfortable. Like they'll maybe get into a relationship that's really good and they're worried, oh my God, am I not going to grind as hard? Am I not, am I, is my sense of funniness tied to my despair in life and I'm worried about being happy? Sure. Has that ever affected you? Uh, I think the whole like tortured artist thing is like not a real oh, thing. No, it's not so a, it's I don't not like, a, I feel like the despair thing, like that doesn't really come to mind, but I do think the biggest thing that comes to my mind is there's so much hanging involved in comedy and there's a lot of moments where I'm like, I'd, I'd rather hang with my girlfriend. You know what I mean? And it's just like, I have to like sacrifice the, the cop. Yeah, you get it. Gabby, you get it. <laughs> Hunter, I did it last night. Yeah. I yeah. was like, we were out late. It was raining and we were going to go to a heart bar and I was yeah. kind of like, I want to go home and take an edible and lay in bed yeah i mean there's like there's like a party yeah. tonight that i like there's a comedy party you guys do you guys know about this party i, I know about one yeah okay i know about one gabby do you, do you, i feel bad bringing this up i actually <laughs> i don't but i'm sure it's not a secret i i no. never like i'm insecure about certain things but i'm never worried that like i'm not invited. invited to some comedy party sure. i think and maybe this is a mean thing to say but sometimes i see the people who are at those parties i'm like it's fine i was invited you, yeah. you know <laughs> yeah 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 I was tacitly. I thought you were about to say they're lesser people. That, that's what that's I was. That's what I was. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I mean, that's the implication. No, <laughs> not that they're lesser, but just they're just like, like not funny. You know who I you are. <laughs> they are funny, some of them. But no, like, ah. so convincing. Name maybe names. Not, maybe they don't have the t- okay. Theater kid over here. Uh, yeah. Wow. Well. <laughs> you know what? It's really, it's really true. And uh, well, and that is like show business. You know, mm. some people are just more talented than others. Unfortunately, I think yeah. we should normalize that. I feel like we should normalize like they do. Like some people are going to be. And it's like okay, you know, hey, I mean? some, some people are, are lesser. We, it's, yeah. we could just yeah. admit that. And some people are harder working than others, and like they'll just like sort of find mm. their way, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Normalize that. Normalize not being invited. I think that's a big thing too. Normalize mm. not being. You know what? I kind of think I was invited. Whatever party it was, I think yeah. I was. Oh, you know what? I do know about a party. <laughs> I feel like we're all just so <laughs> nervous. To Wait, talk, I swear to God, I do up. know about <laughs> oh, a party. Yeah, well, yeah. it's just like I can't go tonight because I yeah. pop collar. But oh, there you go. Ah, there you go. But maybe. I would go. But maybe afterwards. Maybe I have a show afterwards. tonight. I'm going to try to swing by afterwards. There you go. Yeah. 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 So you guys are thinking about this. I'm like, you know, I'm not going because I want to go spend time with my, uh, my yeah. hot girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. She's hot. She's Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've, have I ever note. seen a picture of her? Should I judge it for myself? Yeah. Can uh, we see yeah, how hot sure. she is? Yeah. Sure. Should I pull up pics? Yeah. Pull up. Pull up. We'll do it after. We'll do it after. We'll do it after. We'll do it after. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, I yeah, plenty of nudes. <laughs> yeah, I want to see nudes on this uh, auditory art forum podcast nudes. Right. Podcast nudes. Yeah. She, uh, yeah, uh, I'll I'll describe her naked body. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, before you do that, can yeah, you've been doing a joke about being uncircumcised. <laughs> do you Here feel oppressed? <laughs> do I feel oppressed? Yeah, for being. I feel that way. depressed. Oh. No, I don't feel no, I don't feel too oppressed. Why? I know it's a big uh men's rights thing. Really? Yeah. yeah it is. I wasn't aware of that. Well, are you circumcised? No. Well, that's why you never heard of it. You're not circumcised? I'm not, no. no I've that's been a, yeah. doing a podcast with a freak Wait, for 2 years. Yeah. You're not circumcised? I'm not, no. Your dad's Jewish. Yeah. And you guys are I guess not practicing Correct. So you're a fraud. You're a fraud. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. That's like sort of the bit. It's like no, yeah, idea. no. My um, it's also a tradition. It's also a tradition in a lot of uh Muslim households. Muslim? A yeah, lot yeah. of Muslim families also circumcise their kids. Your mom is. Sudanese? My mom was raised. Yeah, my mom was raised Muslim. Got but, it. But um, yeah, n- when neither of my parents. Uh, were religious and when they got together they discussed it and they sure. were like we don't we don't feel like we're gonna do nice. this and they were encouraged by like my grandmother my granddad they were like oh yeah. you should do it and they were like no <laughs> interesting yeah. yeah I don't feel oppressed but I feel like it's interesting every time I meet someone who is uncircumcised because it feels like I don't know a lot of people who are yeah it's it's you know a very I mean? rare th- well, it's, yeah. it's a very common thing in America and really in yeah. America only outside it's like much more common to For not sure. be do you feel like you guys have a special bond right now oh we dock each other all the time. <laughs> <laughs> i was about to say that <laughs> yeah. uh, what's docking <laughs> no i know what it is but yeah of course you do can you describe it to people do you know what it is i do and I 
and I and I and I you say saw that, the look in her eyes like I do. <laughs> I think I learned about it. I maybe am plagued on by the podcast. knowledge. Right, yeah. right. During I feel like I learned about it like during a conversation of this podcast. Yeah, yeah. Have you all seen a bad trip? With Eric Andre, yes, and they they dock. Yes, it's like a fake dock, but it's like it's so yeah. good. It's so funny. Someone like pulls out a gun because they're so traumatized by seeing it. It's so funny, dude. I watched mm. that movie with my parents. <laughs> oh, really? What? They loved the it. hot dad. Yeah, they oh. loved that movie. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, I've never seen Bad Trip. You should watch it. It's funny. Which is that with Robert De Niro or no? Or am I thinking of somebody else? What are you talking or? about? You're thinking Eric about Andre? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh no, he's done a lot of comedy <laughs> movies recently though. I feel like oh really? Yeah, he's he's gotten into like sort of screwball comedy. Yeah, but De really Niro is not in. Involved. He, okay. He okay. I'm conv- sorry. <laughs> Cancel me. Yeah. <laughs> Give me 20 minutes with De Niro. I can convince him to dock. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say? Nothing. What, what That's the you- key. Just go. <laughs> hey. Hey. You. Me. Yeah. Was not- <laughs> Docking is a vibe. It's not like. Yeah. It's not like a thing you do. <laughs> You give me 20 minutes you, with this me, guy. 20 minutes docking. with this guy. We do. One of my favorite we tweets, do. someone tweeted, I was like, give me 20 minutes with, with Joe Rogan. I can convince him. I can convince him he's bi-curious. <laughs> which Ooh. I think is amazing. Do you That's think you one. could convince Joe Rogan he's bi-curious? I think he's a pretty... He's da- I feel like Joe Rogan, as much shit that he's given, he's pretty down for anything. Which is why he's problematic. He's a little too down. You know what I mean? I see exactly what you mean. He's like, I'll do any conspiracy. He's incredibly open. And right. With, especially with his guy. He's incredibly... Which is bad. Yeah. 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 You don't want to be open. too open. Because no. then you're into conspiracies and ghosts. Exactly. And I think you're letting too much in. Right. Just like being unintel... Like, I think like he wants to act smart because he can say big words and have a podcast. But yeah. Yeah. I think- and mention DMT and, and chimpanzees that'll rip your arms off. For sure. And yeah. I think ultimately... I've listened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we know. I'm not yeah. that smart. I have a podcast. We all have flaws. <laughs> we do all have flaws. And I, yeah. and I think that I'm also like, if I had gone the wrong way in life, I'm really open to conspiracy theory. Mm. If somebody... Somebody I trust is like the the world is a simulation. I'm like probably. Are you saying you are Joe Rogan? I feel like you're trying to make a case Take that you are Joe Rogan. You're Joe Rogan. <laughs> Show us the tax. Twenty minutes. Which is yeah. fine. You yeah. can be Joe Rogan. Yeah, you're taller than him. Is that are you, true? Is that no, true? I think. I wait. How tall are you again? Uh, six eight. Yep, hundred <laughs> percent. I'm taller. Than I was about to get so excited. Yeah, I was like Gabby's yeah, taller than Joe Rogan. Jojo Siwa is taller than Joe Rogan. Nebraskan. That's my favorite fact that I've learned on the internet. Really? She's oh, five eight. She's, I think, no, she's over 5'8". She's tall. Whoa. I have a real bias against tall women that kind of makes yeah. me hate her. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, I can't hate JoJo Siwa. She's a sweet little lesbian. Yeah. yeah. She's from Nebraska. Again, is I, this is the second time I bring Who this up. Who is the yeah. most famous? Oh, that's where you know her from. Yeah. yeah. Who's the most famous person from Nebraska? Uh, besides yourself. What's up? Besides yourself. Yeah, besides myself. Um, I don't, Do you guys know any Nebraskans besides JoJo Siwa? Let me uh, ask you that I was first. about to say corn, but is that Iowa? Oh, Corn's, that's, what, what corn's is? from Iowa, I believe. Okay. Or Slipknot. It's like one of those heavy metal. Is corn heavy metal? Yeah. Oh, I, I meant the vegetable. <laughs> oh. I, I also with the K. thought you meant the band. <laughs> corn with the K. Uh, this is like, awkward. Nebraska? <laughs> I think like Godsmack's from Iowa or some shit. Anyway, I'm just. Listen, <laughs> you're talking all the bands yeah, I no knew. Idea. Okay, the cool. two that I, I was a Linkin Park. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Butt rock. Is what it's Butt called. rock. <laughs> That's what it's called on TikTok. Yeah. Butt rock. But um, did you? So so, what other famous Nebraskans? Yeah, yeah. Were? So yes. um, J- J- Johnny Carson's from Nebraska. Oh shit. Johnny Carson, oh. Marlon Brando, Warren Buffett. Wow. Uh, a lot of heavy hitters. Yeah, a lot of heavy hitters. I'm trying to think. Um, 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 um I'm drawing a blank, but there's a lot of famous Nebraskans that are just mm. like low key from Nebraska. Gotcha. But yeah, those are the okay. big three. Alexander Payne, if you're a movie buff. Oh, oh, he yeah. went to my high school. Um, he did The Descendants. Mm. All right. And, and uh, not Sideways, but about Schmidt, set in Nebraska, yeah, an yeah, election. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, we just have a bunch of random nice. Nebraskans. Okay. Which I always did, feels yeah. weird because I feel like everyone's like, oh, Nebraska, what the fuck? And I like defend Nebraska with a bunch of like famous people. But yeah. then it's like, if you talk to someone from like California, it's like, well, I can just fucking list off. What's yeah. Nebraska Everybody. like? Uh, have you been to the Midwest? I've At all? I've been. To Ohio, okay. you've been to Nebraska. It's, yeah, it's it's, <laughs> it's, like, it's it's similar. All the Midwest kind of looks the same. Yeah, a lot of strip malls. Oh, I love strip malls. Wait, okay, love you may hate me for this question. But yeah, Nebraska, part of the Midwest. Yeah, I, that's, for yeah, some so. okay. There's, I mean, it's like it's one of those things. Where it's like our border is actually real. You know what I mean? Mm. It's like it's like some people will consider Nebraska part of the Midwest. Some people say the Great Plains. Yeah. I, would, I would say it's the Midwest. As personally. as someone who is unfamiliar, who's uneducated, I would have assumed Great Plains. Yeah. See, that's a, no, that's an educated thought. Oh, okay. Because people were like, oh, Midwest, like Arizona. 
New Mexico. Definitely that not Arizona. Whoa, whoa, we're not. It's too whoa. west. Let's not rock the fucking boat. <laughs> yeah, come on. Yeah, this is gonna get us canceled. This yeah. is. I've listened to a lot of this pod. You guys are talking about J.K. Rowling, 9/11. This, but no, <laughs> this is what you guys are. Gonna this get is what's we're gonna ta- kill the pod. We're usually talking about them both at once. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I I will say. Not to get too too far of a tangent. One of my Please. favorite parts of the pod was when you were talking about the picture you took, like nine ten or something. Yeah, yeah. And it looks like you knew something that was gonna happen. <laughs> oh my! That was one of my. Fa- I was crap. So I listened to this this pod on when I'm in the gym, and I was cracking up in the gym. <laughs> I was dying. It really looks like I knew it. <laughs> Wait, can you can you find the? Yeah, picture? Please, please send me that picture. I, I need to I'm, know. I'm gonna. I will definitely find the picture after Good, we finish. Thank so you. funny. It's, I need this. We uh, we should put it in a clip. It's so it's so fucking funny. Oh, you know we we can add it in in post. Easy. I mean, obviously, it's not like funny because the towers went down ten days later. But like, I did not know how to. <laughs> Wait, smile you're in a not photo. laughing hysterically because of? <laughs> yeah, that's no. the well, I, I just, It's not like, funny because I did it. I just knew, like it's crazy. Yeah, I did do it. Yeah. I'm sorry to. I'm sorry to say. Do you remember? What the, can you describe what the face is? Like, what face were you do making? Do it right now. Just I'll like... do. It's. It was like. <laughs> <laughs> she she puckered her lips. That's what she. <laughs> What's Gabby? She thinking pursed about? her lips. The lips weren't puckered. It was more like. <laughs> <laughs> I actually found I found an old segment of myself on oh an episode God, of so Reading funny. Rainbow. What? Oh You're on Reading God. Rainbow? Because I was like, this a, is the funniest thing. I was I've like ever a child awesome. actor, but what? I like I but I never followed through with it because my parents weren't like stage parents like that, sure. and I'm, I'm very grateful for that. Right, right. Child actors, they're all fucking fucked up now. Yeah, they're weird. A couple turned out okay. Yeah, but not Hillary me. Duff turned out all right. right. Hillary Duff's amazing, but she not Josh. Out? Josh no. did a lot of drugs. Josh. Drake and Josh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> he turned out okay. He yeah. made this great movie. Oh my God, The Wackness. Did you ever see it? The Wackness? It was literally called The Wackness, dude. You're With making Terrible title. No, yeah. look it up. Okay. Look it up. Okay. Jamie, pull Jamie that up. <laughs> <laughs> we just get increasingly angrier to our fake producer. Jamie! Yeah. You're He's f- the same producer as Joe Rogan's pod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah it's yeah, walking distance. He's, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we actually live really near Joe Rogan. Don't yeah. leave that out. Yeah. No, we're Don't in Austin, Texas. This is an Austin, right Texas based podcast. Yes. Yeah. This yeah. is <laughs> we're just obsessed with the New York comedy scene. <laughs> From the specter of Austin. Wait, Texas. tell me about the Wackness. Yes. The Wackness, amazing movie. It's him, uh, Josh Peck, Olivia Thrillby. You okay. know her? That's yeah. not a name. Yes, it is. Thrillby. It's Thrillby? Of a hot lady. And then Ben Kingsley. Okay. I think do you have to be hot to carry off that name? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a little 100%. bit. A little bit. Olivia Thrillby, super hot lady. It's about uh, so Josh Peck is a drug dealer and he's he's dealing, but he's pretending that he's carrying ices in an icy truck. Okay. Uh, Does he have know. any other? Is it is it like a supporting role? Or is he just no? Like an extra? He's the lead. Oh, he's a lead. He's oh. the lead in it. Yeah. Would you say it that's was his pretty, Breaking Bad? Was it? Yeah. Was it wacky? Would you say it was a funny, a good movie? It was. Um. The the reason it's titled that there's a scene where him and Olivia Thrillby are swimming in the ocean. Olivia Thrillby's like, we gotta embrace the wackness of this life. <laughs> I love you, a moment where they yeah. just say the title. Right. Did I dream this? The... Did I dream this movie? Yeah. Gabby, I love I love your brain because it's just filled with pop culture. You know 100%. so much, and mine is so empty. Of <laughs> well, pop yeah, culture. but the, that's why it this works well. Lucas yeah. is good fucking, with practical knowledge. Yeah, I, I'm, which I love. I'm good with a lot of random facts, a lot of random. Yeah. Uh, science I feel you'd be good animals. at trivia. Oh, I am good at trivia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Unless yeah. it's pop culture, then you'd be good at trivia. Then I'd be good. At yeah. What do you know sure the most love. about in this life? Man, that's specialist a, that's a subject. Good What's your specialist subject that you would want to win money on on a show? You know. I don't know if I know anything about anything, really. Mm. Maybe Thai food? I don't know. Maybe. What do you yeah. know about Thai food? Tell well, it's us. my mom just owned a Thai restaurant. Can you so teach just, us like, good? What are the secrets? <laughs> hey. What are the secrets of the restaurant? Yeah. Uh, no, there's no secret. I feel like it's just very like coconut, milk based, mm. fish okay. sauce. That's a big. I remember growing up, my mom was like, if you want, if you need an ingredient for your food that will like help elevate your food, fish sauce. And I'm like, all right, cool. D- fish sauce? S- sauce. Fish sauce. Fish sauce. Fish sauce. Fish sauce. Do you know how to cook? Do you know how to cook now? Like, did a little she bit. teach you? Mm. Yeah, I don't feel like you know how to cook really well. Because oh, I remember okay. talking to you about food one time. I'm like, yeah. this guy knows a lot. Oh, I don't. You know, I, I don't have like cooking. that amount yeah. of knowledge. Mm. Yeah. Would you I, say food is your main? I know a good bit about food. I yeah. do think I know a good bit. I will say that there is a um a Thai what's restaurant. What's your bit? <laughs> My what? Sorry. What's your bit? <laughs> yeah. What's your bit? <laughs> yeah. Do say the bit. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah, what's your bit, bro? My bit. Oh, this is. Are we doing bits? Yeah. Dude, say say a fucking joke, dude. 
this, so yeah, there's Katsu serious. serious I just, say, I, say just joke, I just, I just have a charming anecdote. <laughs> I don't have a joke. Oh yeah, yeah. No, go ahead with your little charming yeah, anecdote. Yeah. See no, if we laugh. Do it, but like do I, a joke. I got dude. some uh, galango from oh, okay. uh, from a Thai restaurant because like we were so curious about how to make this curry paste. Yeah. And like well, I was looking for because it's it's a hard like ginger you can find almost anywhere, yep. but galango is like it's really difficult hard. to find. And yep. he was like, oh, and he just went in the back and he just made a little container of it. He's like, here you go. That's awesome. Yeah. That's see, so sweet. That's uh, this is like elevated cooking shit yeah. yeah you know what i mean like you know what galango is you know what i mean yeah. like that's a no one a lot of people don't know that yeah so, i gotta beautiful. get in on galango oh yeah, yeah. galanga yeah. it's <laughs> made in classic Gum-yum. white person move i gotta get in <laughs> from the yeah. ground up wait do you are you a cook do but yeah you, you yeah. also cook yeah. i got the cast iron tattoo i'm a cook oh yes yeah. of course would you say that's your main no pop culture probably pop you know culture yeah, definitely yeah. and also baseball yeah, yeah right yeah. but we talked but, about the yankees didn't we no we talked about glee we talked podcast. about glee yeah, and that, that was so that was such a i got a bone day. pick with you what did <gasps> i do ready i'm glad we're talking about this podcast we so yes! gabby <laughs> yeah gabby was on this podcast that i used to do we were rebranding okay. we're, we're pivoting it's called teach me good uh when we were when we were first starting the podcast i dm'd you and i was like lucas i love your impressions i love impressions in general can you come on this podcast left me on red <laughs> Left me on red. And at that point on, I'm like, I'm killing myself. I'll never forget this. <laughs> never forget I'm this. killing myself. No, it's fine. You're a busy guy. You well, you know, he's got the adiach. The what? Oh, the, the adiach. <laughs> he's got the adiach. <laughs> I keep forgetting that that's a thing. Adiach. <laughs> he's so what do you have to say for yourself? Hey, hi. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> no, it's okay. You didn't have yeah, to do I'm the pod. Can you put out a notes apology right now? Yeah. yeah, I would love to talk about just your. I mean, you don't have to do it on a pod, but I would, I, no, yes, I would happily do it. Well, the pod's dead, so it doesn't. Oh, okay. Matter. But, but I love to talk. I love to talk. You said rebranding. You didn't say dead. Wait, okay. Well, what is, yeah, your, what is your current brand now with the podcast? Yeah, we're working on this pod to? called Great Start. Okay, okay. it's sort of a soft launch. I kind of like this. Ooh, uh, and me and Fernando, honestly, we just got tired of booking guests. That shit fucking sucks. I'm sure you guys may know. Scheduling is a pain in the ass. Mm. You yeah. know what I mean? So we're like, let's just do it us two. And so basically, the general idea is like we bring something from our childhood and kind of explore that and tan- tangent out of that because we come from very different childhoods. Yeah, mm. you know what I mean? Because he's yeah. a Mexican fellow. Yeah, he's Mex. Whoa, he's. I don't like how you said that. That was. <laughs> He's a Mexican. He's a what? I'm gonna say? tip away. <laughs> he's a, he's a, um, Are you leaving? No, yeah, hundred percent. I'm jumping out the window. No, uh, no. He also, uh, okay. yeah, I think just like a socioeconomic background, just very different from from me. And right. um, yeah. yeah, we just have very different backgrounds, but we have a lot of same similar thoughts, but also different thoughts. Ooh, I think that's I have, fine. I have a question. Is there yeah. anything that you sort of? assumed everyone had that experience that fernando was like wait what the hell are you talking about yeah i feel like uh i mean skiing is a big one i never skied but like growing up everybody around me skied yeah. and i'm just like you guys fucking do this shit some white people shit you know yeah i have never skied nor have I. Yeah. yeah it's a big like if you live close to like colorado which nebraska border, sure it's like you just go to colorado course, but it's also yeah. like you, have, you need money to do it's expensive yeah, of course yeah my family's never into that mm. i mean honestly like we had the money it was just a girl in my elementary school died in like a skiing accident so my family was like we're not gonna this just got real dark do that no it's really sad Great excuse yeah. gabby yeah. <laughs> yeah i know i like make it all up <laughs> oh no i couldn't tension. take my skiing <laughs> holiday anymore just, like, living in New Ooh. York City Ooh. was like not <laughs> enough for me. I had to like lie. Right, right, right. <laughs> like, I couldn't be like, yeah, I lived in an urban area. I'm like, no, it's got to be more convincing. Yeah. Yeah. It's different. Uh, to answer your question though, but yes. he, uh, like his high school, like people would come from the army and like be like, hey, oh my join God, the yeah. fucking army. Mm-hmm. What state did he grow up in? Texas. Texas, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And like I, he was like, yeah, it's very common yeah. in like Texas schools. And I'm like, I've never, like no one from the army has ever gone no, to my school. No, yeah, you know me neither. I mean? So that's like a big difference. Yeah. That, uh, no, army recruiters yeah. are like crazy. Yeah. We had a guy yeah. on the pod, Ben Brainerd, who's like a veteran. And he yeah. was like talking about that, how like they recruit like poor right. kids. And, yeah. Because yeah. it's like a job basically. And yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I, just, I just want a fucking job. I don't care. I'll yeah, kill people what for it a is, job. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But that's like a big, he thought that was like a normal thing. And I was like, I don't know. So, and like, I thought that was not, a, you know what I mean? You not just got recruited right. to go yeah. skiing. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, I, yeah. you know, literally. Like, how am I going to fit in time to ski in the army? Yeah. The army. Yeah, you. I remember you were in the skiing reserves for yeah. the, uh, for in bit. Afghanistan. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we just skiing around guns, you know. Yeah, yeah. canceled. Patrolling, canceled, it's canceled. We had two two assault rifles, and that's yeah. how we got yeah. around. Were you, were you athletic as a kid? Uh, I wanted to be. 
That, that's that's good enough. I want it to be. No, this is interesting. You feel like you're feel like you're really prying for good stuff. I want it to be. My dad would never let me play any sports because he's worried that I was gonna break limbs. Aww. And now I have this like energy. Like I want to run around. Yeah, you know, I have like. Oh. A, I feel that about you. You're like kind of puppy vibes. Like yeah. you want to run. You've got a lot of energy. In I want to join like a league, some sort of yeah. any league. Oh my god, you Give should join league. my softball league. It's a. I've watched her softball games. They're fun. Yeah, no, I would. They're I would great. Really fun. I'm They're joking really around, good. being like, no, but like I do that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Fuck yeah! You know who's yeah. playing on my team? Um, this year is Alex Talbot. Really? Yeah. Whoa, I, love Alex. I didn't know about that. He's an amazing player. I he's believe fellow that. comedian. Alex used to Talbot. play basketball. Tina, he's got a good right? build. He's he's got a strong beard. He's build. genuinely like the best shortstop. We've really? Had. Yeah. Of course he is. Yeah. Pretty incredible. Yeah. I've never played any sort of baseball, softball, but I'd be open to it. You know yeah. what I mean? But I want to play like soccer. I want to like fucking run. Oh, there's also soccer leagues. I think mm. it's, probably. Um, yeah. I really. Do you guys want to join? Yeah, uh, th- just the three of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to kick the three ball v around. Five. Three people. I need to learn how to kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Too. I feel like I just want to like run around, have fun with my friends. Well, what about you and me? We're playing, but we kick Lucas around like <laughs> as a ball. Oh. <laughs> no, put me in a ball like yeah. a hamster. You mean a zorb, a zorb Ooh, suit? Ooh, I would love that. I love zorbing. Zorbing? Oh, that's what they're called. Right? The ball, the big Have ball. You ever zorbed? What the fuck? It's when you get zorbed. put in a giant plastic ball and then you get rolled down yeah. the hill. Oh. Yeah. Have you done that? I've done it. Did you do it in college? Uh, no, I did it when I was a kid. Oh, really? My, I, wow. I went there with my family. We went to this place in England where there were two kinds of Zorbs. One where you're like in a harness inside and you nice. get rolled around. And then there's one where it's like it's smooth on the inside, but they put a bit of water in there. And it's oh like a God. water slide. Okay, that, we didn't do that. That sounds crazy. Oh, my God. It was an awesome day. Sounds, sounds like a little so medieval good. torture, but yeah. Oh bit. no, no, no! It was amazing. It was, it was amazing. Beautiful. We did it in college. It was a big college thing because they like wanted kids to, like do shit on the quad, and so they brought in zorbs, and so we just got in yeah. college kids and we zorb around. Did you do college in Nebraska as well? No, nah, I went to school in New Orleans. Oh. Whoa! How yeah. was that? It was great. New Orleans yeah. is sick. Have you guys been? To I've New never been. I to New have Orleans. been. I went one time. Yeah, I think we talked re- about this. It was really never been. Cool. Yeah, it's really cool. It's a fun city. Yeah. You should go. Oh, I'd love we should go. <gasps> Please, you and me. Yeah, take a new. We're taking a little boys trip. trip. Boys trip. Boys trip. You're invited. I'm one of the boys. boys. Let's but, go. But if you like food, best food I've ever had in any city oh ever. It's like the best. It's so unique and interesting and delicious. I've not had a proper crawfish boil. Oh, there you go. Yeah, we should mm. go. I've never had, and I've I've so seen good. like videos on it. Like a lot of people from like Louisiana, like doing like really good yeah. ones on like TikTok. I'm like, <gasps> for me, nice. it's about the gumbo. Yeah. yeah, I make a pretty good gumbo. I've heard you've talked. We talked about this. Yes. I talk about it a lot. Yeah. yeah. What, um, how do you, how'd you learn your gumbo? How'd I you... just found a recipe online. Okay. And then I, I was actually really proud because I made it for Sam Schaefer. And he's and from the, New Orleans. Yeah. And then he was like, you made this? Yeah, I was yeah. like, yeah. He was like, where'd you get the recipe? I was like, online. Hey. Yeah. And the only thing, the only thing he said, he was like, this is like a 91 out of a hundred. The only thing that would help is if you cooked it just like twice as long. Interesting. You did three hours. If you did six Gotta hours, help it. the roux cook out more Ooh. would be better. But that's the only you thing. You added roux. God, dude, you, you know food. Like yeah, you, you do. It's kind of yeah. crazy. So I do you know though food. too. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I won't usually leave you. cook I a gumbo for, for days. For days? <laughs> um. Yeah. When you first, when you first said days, I was like, "Who the hell is days?" Yeah, yeah I, cook for, <laughs> I cook for my friend days. It's a comic I don't know. Not days pissed. would be an amazing name for like a non-binary comic. Yeah, <laughs> days. days. <laughs> Some guys, I'm days. Hi, I'm days. My new, flower. My new name is days. <laughs> that would be great. There's probably someone named days out there, for sure. Uh, there is a oh, great yeah. um, post I saw and I sent it to Lucas, and it's a. Uh, one of those kind of like traditional uh, women, like yeah. talking about things she wants to name her kids. Trad wife, yeah, yeah. yeah trad wife, you know the vibe. Oh yeah. 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 Um, I and I have thoughts on trad wives. I kind of, for the most part, think they're great. But the <laughs> things she wanted to the name world needs them. Yeah. These these people were were pretty. Ins- there was a uh, great names for a boy inc- include theory. <laughs> Written, written, as in I've written this. Yeah, yeah. For a girl, are you serious? Written yeah. <laughs> for a girl, crimson. Okay, C R I M S Y N. I can see crimson, not with a Y. That's insane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Y is like crimson. you think. Okay, crimson yeah. with the Y. Whoa. Yeah, that's. If I saw that, I'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah. But yeah, but I feel like theories. It's also insane, but also like there's a rapper named Logic. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But, but that's that not his, his real, real name. name. No, that's what's his real name? You mm. know what I mean? Reason. <laughs> His real name's a reason. Can I tell you an effect that Logic has had on my comedy? 
Oh, please. boy. <laughs> I'm so excited to hear how Logic has influenced you. No, because are you aware of, like, the discourse online of, like, oh, my God, Logic just talks about being biracial, yes. like, all the yeah. time? It has made me go, I want to stop doing as much material as I have done about being mixed. Because I was, like, I think... I don't think it affects my life that much, and yeah. it's starting to feel hacky, and so I'm trying to move away from but it. But if it's like your, if it's like your identity, you know what I mean? What does it identity? mean to be hacky? I've thought about this a lot because people will. I t- think just in not genuine, so, in some way not genuine, and I think on some level it's not as genuine as like I maybe thought it was in the past. Interesting. That's it. And so I'm. I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and, whatever yeah. feels real to you. I think sometimes yeah. people will tell great jokes on stage and be like, "Oh, sorry, that was hacky." I'm like. To who? Like, I love that. Right. Mm. Here's I've I've heard a really good metaphor of like Ooh. we don't we don't talk about songs being hacky. Like, there's a million love songs, right? Yeah. So as long as you can like have an original take on it, yeah. Like on a topic that is hacky, quote unquote, like yeah. being biracial, you'll be fine. Was it J.K. Rowling who said that? Mm. I was waiting for her to be brought. Great up quotes. Yes. Was, Great was quotes. Really from that ready. Girl. Yeah, it was she's, her. She's really iconic to she's us. She's like, as long as you are trans in like a a normal way. You can do it. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't upset me. <laughs> yeah. In like a not not a real way, you know? Yeah. I think here's the thing about trad wives, going back to that. <laughs> yes. So here's the trans. important question. This <laughs> is important point. JK. Yeah. I think that like the system that creates tra- trad wives is fucked up, but like there's nothing inherently wrong with wanting to cross stitch, knit, give your life over to like love. Sure. And oh, yeah, family sure. yeah. and kindness. Yeah. And to like make a little house like your world. That sounds very pleasant, actually. And maybe, maybe <laughs> I would do <laughs> it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe so I, like, I would. <laughs> you know what? I feel like you're soft launching this right now for you. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to. This is it. No more Gabby's comedy. coming out no as a trad wife. Trad wife yeah. Joe Rogan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. <laughs> I'm just cross stitching live on a pod, and I'm like, oh. Honestly, that uh, image, that image is beautiful. There's two genders. <laughs> um. I just did DMT before this. Yeah. Damn. This is sponsored by Cool Yarn. <laughs> <laughs> what is he? What's his like meds? Like Alpha Brain? Is that the Alpha thing? Brain? Yeah. Is yeah for sure one. I've looked into it. I did not buy, but I did look into it once years ago. Years ago. You wanted, but an you. Alpha. I was a different man. But you have done. See, this is how much I listen to the pot. You have done a commercial for a pill. Yes. Yeah. One of those red pills. Yeah. Which ironically is the the yeah, name for men's Info rights Wars. people. It's all yeah. full circle, baby. Like it is. Pill. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Were you jealous when you heard that Lucas did that? Were you like, I also want to advertise for the red pill? Yeah. You know how you're asking if I was feeling oppressed for my un- my not being circumcised? <laughs> or uncut dick. Yeah, uncut yeah. dick. I do feel oppressed for being a man. Yeah, you so. can tuck a little pill I in mean, there. <laughs> you are oppressed. So when you brought that up, I'm like, I am red pilled for yeah. sure, but yeah. not. Yeah, it's not I'm, bad. I'm thing. oppressing you every day. You do. You like, do. And, and wives and are the oppressing. People on your show are oppressing. I mean, Meredith yeah. is a woman. Right. Fernando is Basically dating her. Oh, okay. And a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Now they're, we're getting into some cancelable. T- I love it. They're in a queer relationship. Yeah. As Meredith, well, it's not cancelable because it's her joke. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Right, right. She's like, we're in a queer relationship because he weighs, weighs less, less than, than me. me. Yeah. Amazing joke. That. Amazing. I love perfect that. joke. Right. No notes. But you, what you do is you spit on me every time you see me. So and you I go, do? you're a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I do that. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm, yeah. As Joe Rogan. I would do like do. that though. So keep doing it. What? As Joe Rogan would do. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm just so. I'm feeling the trad thing. Like I'm thinking, why am really? I? Have you? Have, how? When have you started <laughs> thinking about this? The whole trad thing. Well, okay. You know what started me thinking about it? Actually, Talk about it. That that tweet that went viral of the woman being like, "It's 2028." <laughs> do, do we know about this? Oh wait, is, is it that blonde like, woman? I, I is, 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 yeah, is yeah, it like she's... I only want a man who wants to homestead, homeschool our kids, and like do all that? No, Was... that's a different person. I, I don't know. Yeah, that person is irrelevant to me. Okay, okay. What are you talking? What are you talking about? about her? I'm talking about the girl who was like, "It's Super Bowl Sunday, 2028. Your kids are laughing in the playroom. You're making mm. like dip in the crock pot." Your husband come and spanks your ass. <laughs> your friends are playing beer pong at the table. Your heart is full. And everyone made fun of her yeah. for so long. And I was like, this woman is literally falling on the sword for yeah. all of us. Right. She is having the best day of her life. Right. The, what could be better? Right. Sports, 
Spanking. Spanking. Spank, yeah. Crockpot dip, which is L- yum. delicious. People right. enjoying themselves in their own yeah. activities yeah. elsewhere in the home. Right. Friends drinking. Sports are, can be very fun yeah. and communal, especially when you're not playing them and you get to watch, watch and, them, uh, sure. invest them. But you can play them too if you want. Yeah. Children yeah. hanging out together and you not don't, at the same time. You, don't you can't really watch, watch and play them. at the same time. Right. You don't even have to watch the kids. They're and entertaining they're kids. themselves yeah. in the playroom. So, like, what is literally what is wrong with I th- that? I think, I think you're getting caught up by people who uh, think that they're not choosing their life, this life for themselves. I think the issue is agency. And I think people are like, mm. she doesn't have any agency. But it's like, no, she probably chose this life. No, she yeah. vol- obviously like volunteered this life for right. herself. Yeah. So I think people get in their mindsets of like, mm. she's, she's fucking oppressed. Like she doesn't realize that she doesn't have to do that. But it's mm. like, no, I think she probably just wants to chill. You know? Well, yeah. it's like not all of us choose the life exactly. of like living in Brooklyn, aka yeah. Austin, Texas, where we are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. 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 Not everyone chooses the Austin <laughs> lifestyle working for the Joe Rogan podcast. We're not all Jamie. Right. We're not right, all. Right, right. I just sometimes think that, like, it would behoove us to, like, imagine a world where, like, we're not all just, like, like, it's okay that we're all, like, bisexual commitment phobes, you know, who are, like, Okay, now you lost me. Yeah. I don't think you should be bisexual. <laughs> <laughs> you should be a commitment phobe, though. You should be afraid no. of commitment. Right, right, right. Like, witch, like witchy, like, yeah. you know. You should dye your hair to solve your yeah, issues. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And exactly. you know what? I do think those trad women believe in astrology, so I think that we yeah. all do have something in common. Right. There's nothing wrong with being a trad trad woman. Yeah. You know? I think that it just, we, we have more You in finally common. gave me a reason to hate trad wives. Yeah. <laughs> you just, Gabby, yeah, you, you can, were looking. Gabby, you can be a traditional wife. It's fine. Yeah. We're le- I'm, lo- I'm allowing you to do I that. Get, we give you permission. I g- we give you permission. Be your true self. I don't think I could be a trad wife. <laughs> I respect that. I respect them for doing it and I yeah. will defend them until whatever happens, but I can't do it. What Here's, is it about you think that doesn't align with the trad wife lifestyle? Yes. I'm too dumb. I like, I can't. I'm, Some would argue that's what you need. No. Yeah. <laughs> they're way smarter that they know where things right. are in their house. That is <laughs> No, 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 no. Well, here's what if you just had open shelving so you could see where yeah. everything is? No, absolutely Simple. not. I'll lose it anyway. I don't Okay, get... sorry for trying to look for a solution. Yeah, we're trying to help you. <laughs> that is so mansplaining. I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's, she wants us to just sit and go, you know right. what? I, I just go. You. That is hard. I hear yeah. you. <laughs> You're so I understand. valid. I've wanted to be a trad wife too. I get it. You do? Yeah. No, I just. <laughs> you're just saying words. Just to... <laughs> yes, Look, I feel like if you're in a relationship, sometimes you just have to say those things. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, has I get has you. Lauren been like, "Can you please be a trad wife?" Uh, yeah, we talk about that. Yeah, mm. sometimes we're just like, "You, you, uh, you stay at home. I'll make a lot of money, and you just stay at home and uh, cook and clean." Yeah, that sounds kind of nice. Well, yeah. pretty, I, that's what I'm. Okay, yeah. Gavin, you want to be a trad wife? <laughs> I yeah. think I literally do. <laughs> I want to be one a little bit. Like I yeah. love, I love like making food for people. I love yep. being a host. I love like yeah. creating a good environment for people to enjoy themselves. And right. I love all of that. Here's very the thing: much. people should be trad wives every now and then. Yes. yes, have a balance. It is an aspect that maybe a lot of people, if they have it, they should indulge. Yeah. Totally. Yes. Yeah, we've solved it. Yeah, we did. There's also there was a woman I saw online who. Uh, made her boyfriend a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in this beautiful way where she handmade the bread, handmade oh, the peanut butter, and handmade the strawberry that's jam. That's awesome. And I was like... That's almost a little scared. I'm a little scared. You're scared? Why? <laughs> I, I, that's like that's so much effort. I'm like, I, I don't think yeah. I deserve well, this. Well, it's like, too much little, effort little for the boyfriend's behavior. reaction at the end because he he's like a little excited to get the sandwich. He eats it, but then he, he bites into it. And you can tell he's like very happy that you know she made it, but oh, like, but it sucks. No, Ooh. it just like does not taste different from if. Oh, he got oh, it oh it. yeah. So he's just like, uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> he's like nodding. Also, uh, she was waiting for him to be like, babe, <laughs> this is the best peanut butter jelly. Yeah. <laughs> can I eat you out right now? And <laughs> like, <laughs> like, he's like, I don't know how to repay you. That's right. what she wanted. Yeah, yeah. I I'm think starting so. to realize the issue with trad wives is not the wives themselves, but the man Ooh. who has expectations Ooh. on the wife. It's you a little I mean? oppressive. Of yeah, you. a little bit. But but do go on. So as an uncircumcised guy, I do yeah. actually now feel oppressed. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, do you feel oppressed? As a I, once. What, are you serious? Once I did. Oh, Only Gabby is so re- yeah. so not ready to hear about this. <laughs> no, I, I need okay, to... okay, maybe oppressed is not is not the right word. No, I'm, I'm curious about what tell that means. Me, please, and say it in the most like like op- like terms like that that you can. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. This yeah, was yeah. gaslighting. I had my rights. Abusive, yeah. Of no, this this is what happened. No, one time I was dating someone 
who before we had ever seen each other naked, I had mentioned it in conversation and she got scared because she okay. had never seen or experienced yeah. an uncircumcised penis before. And eventually got that's, past it. There was no fair. issue. Right. But and I was like, wait, what's the issue? And I did feel a little judged in that moment, but it was easy Dude, to get totally. past it. So Does talking that happen about, to you? What? Has that happened to you? Glad you asked. This is an amazing pod. Uh, I'm excited. Bring it back to Nebraska, doing stand up oh, Nebraska. Yeah. There's there's a, a woman who would do a joke about uh, how uncircumcised dicks are fucking weird. There's yeah. like, what is that vacuum turtleneck whatever? They just vacuum? like she threw a bunch of yeah. I don't know. That, that, how many I'm, functions does your penis have? Yeah, I don't know what she meant by that, but uh, it would kill every time. I'm like, oh, oh this okay. is this. You guys are just idiots. Like you guys don't know. Yeah, yeah. But you, I don't know. It, and then I you, did laugh. And then you went up on stage. Yeah, and and I was like, everyone. and you showed Those everyone. Does this make you laugh? <laughs> <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> now! You were the Joker. You were like, is this <laughs> funny? Is this funny to you? I had, a, I had a thing of lipstick, and I was doing the, the smile. Oh <laughs> I was thinking like the elephant man, like, do I amuse you? Do I amuse you? Yeah. <laughs> Drink this milkshake. Uh... Yeah, that's I was that's about my... to say something so gross. <laughs> say it. Did you, you fucking say that right now. for the milkshake? Hell yeah. Oh, oh amazing God. podcast. Yeah. No. <laughs> this is uh this is very highbrow what we're doing. Yeah. Well, great. here's the thing about Smegma. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that sentence was insane. No, go on. Well, here's the thing about Smegma, it's not as weird as people think it is. It's just like you know how like vagina self clean, sometimes you get like weird yeah. shit with the Yeah, yeah but you like, do need same... to clean your penis though. Right, though, yeah. But Smegma's not like toxic. No, you know yeah, I mean? obviously not. Yeah. yeah. People are like, oh, it's gross, but obviously no, it's you just didn't like... hear about Chernobyl. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> it was caused by smegma. You didn't know? You didn't hear about that? Wait. Tell yeah, me more. You know the, the elephant's foot, which is like a lot of radioactive material? It's all smegma. Yeah. You die if you're, if you're in presence yeah. of it within 30 Amazing. seconds. This is what happens when you go on a podcast and you just say stuff. You're not educated about it. Yeah. yeah. No, this is... Thank you. Thank you, yeah. Joe. I mean, Gabby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jamie, get yourself a croissant. Here's, you yeah, deserve yeah. it. <laughs> Treat yourself. 20 minutes with Joe Rogan. That's what this that's yeah. what this episode is going to Indeed. be titled. Should we get into some listeners? Yes. I was really hoping I am going to I'm going to grab my phone so I can pull them up as well. Please. I was really hoping this would be like the longest episode you guys have ever done. Oh my god. That I think was when we had uh Brittany and Ali O'Neill on. Mm. Because it was both of them. Yeah, I like think two, that two ended interviews. up being a really long episode. Right. Because would, oh, those girls are. Would this be a good time to pee? Can I go pee yes. real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go piss, so girl. Let's take, let's, well, take a break. let's take a breaky break. We were talking about how Art had a um a guy who helps uh men regrow their foreskin. I had a guy. Yeah, you had a guy. <laughs> he was mine. He was an occasion mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, how was uh? Did you let him out? No. Why? Well, why? Why would I let him out? Okay. No, you circumcised the door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there was a guy it. like that on How To with John Wilson. Yeah, I talked to him on our podcast. Yeah, yeah. That guy. You talked to him on Teach Me Good? Yeah, Ron Lowe. He's a nice <gasps> dude. He's super nice. But what I wanted to say was, when you asked the question about if I felt oppressed for having an uncircumcised mm. penis, they're in that movement of men's rights people being like circumcision, mm. blah, blah, blah. He sells products to regrow your foreskin, as you know. And he, we were talking to him. He was like, I have to put on my website and I have to tell people that like, I don't support men's rights stuff. I'm a very progressive person. I think uh, the whole like men's rights thing is ridiculous. But please buy my products, you know, like please, <laughs> yeah. whatever reason you got to do. Please buy it. That's yeah. how we promote the pod. We're like, we don't agree with anything we say, but please listen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I wanted him to sponsor our podcast. Like, give me an Ooh. ad read and I will oh, do it. <laughs> and he was like, we don't have that money. I'm like, that's fine. Is what if you were like, I want to make my foreskin extra long? <laughs> yeah. Well, I have a funny story about Fernando's foreskin. Uh, oh. <laughs> so he's also, do you, do you just only know uncircumcised Well, men? he's circumcised. Okay. But, oh. but. Did is he, he grow back? No, 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 no. He, I, I don't know. It's not really a joke, but okay, he, okay. he had to get a circumcised because when he was a kid, a baby, his <laughs> his penis was too wide, and so his doctor was like, "You had this is not this is not good for the baby." So he had to like he had to forcibly get one, like without any sort of religious connection. And all of his friends are uncircumcised. And so now he feels like the one left out, which is opposite. This is why this is why you should listen to our podcast, Great Start, because we have a lot of stories like this. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> when it comes his out. His penis yeah. was too wide. Yeah. He must have been proud of that. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, that it is... was really short, but it was like. Oh, okay. it was, so it was like a nub. <laughs> <laughs> like a cheese wheel? Yeah, it was a cheese wheel. 
like a jar cap is what i'm thinking you know? all right let's see what our <laughs> listeners have to say <laughs> Fernando, uh, I'm so sorry. We're yeah, we're outing you. This way. He Fernando, listen to pods. wherever you are, <laughs> oh my we God. love you. He doesn't listen to pods. Okay, so. okay. He just makes them. He makes them. Yeah. And that's so fair. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. I just knocked that over. Oh, that's... What the fuck did you do? No, that's not so bad. It's all right. Um, okay. Yeah, it's funny because he's so like anti podcasting, but we have a podcast. Yeah. So it's that sort of dynamic is fun. I think like, it's it's the trendy thing to be anti podcast, but yeah. everyone sees. Well, he's like try to listen to it. He like doesn't like it. Oh, oh, oh you know just I mean? like actually like as a consumer. Yes, as a right. consumer, as a creator, he's just like I don't like the the format. I'm like you don't have yeah. to do this, like, but I like hanging out. And I'm like, all right. Yeah. But it's funny because <laughs> people will like whisper to me as if it's some dark secret. They'll be like, I actually kind of want to start a podcast. Yeah. And I'm like, do it. Well, then do it. But they're like, they're treating it like it's like they're coming out to me. Right. People are so ashamed of like doing, like wanting to do stuff. Yeah. So you just do it. Doing stuff that's like popular or maybe yeah. they think it's overdone. Right. Or like yeah. a little nerdy, a little like, like improv. It's like, uh, it's like, dude, yeah. it's fun. Well, that it's is, fucking... that is an awful thing to do. And it's it, only bad people no, do feel, it. Improv's feel... wrong. It's a sin. <laughs> okay. You're... It has nothing to I'm do so with sorry. the fact <laughs> that I used to be bad at it. Guys, improvisers have tried really hard to convince <laughs> these people and uh didn't work. So. You think that, and like, when they were like coming up with the Ten Commandments, someone said, "What about like don't don't do improv?" Do improv? <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, "Wait, what?" It was like, "I just don't like." I it. feel like you guys would be good at improv, you too, especially. Oh. Well, I used to do it. I, and yeah, I, I, know. I, I don't okay. think I'm good. I was okay. Interesting. Just, interesting. I'm very bad at letting go of control of this. But once you do, I feel like you fucking would be. Let's do a scene amazing. right now. Okay. Okay. Um, what's, what's the, what's this party's the... crazy. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's no, it is. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't... Th- what party? I just got here. I can't tell yet. <laughs> the, the party that we're at! What are you- uh... <laughs> I just got here. Yeah. You're, a, you're a local dude. <laughs> hey, you dropped your glass, you're, but you're still holding your you're, hand like... Uh, th- look at the spill. <laughs> what spill? <laughs> what are you talking about? Dude, Gabby, this would be actually pretty funny on stage. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're, you're trying to be bad, but I'm laughing. <laughs> the funniest thing you can do is say no. I'm really <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, fuck you. Anyway, sorry. We have listener submissions that we need you to weigh in on. Are okay. you ready? All right. Love it. Uh, dear co-host and co-host and possibly host, uh, I, am a, I am a senior in high school and I'm planning on asking a girl to prom. For context, I am a male 17 and a half years old and she is a female 18 years old. She is taking the library's internship. So my plan for asking her is to write a letter and have it printed in a book. Mm. Then Aww. properly file it in the library and put the book's number location on a post-it note on her desk. Mm-hmm. My That's only really concern cute. This is really mm-hmm. sweet. I'm I like calm. this. This is ba- this Yeah. Is- Sorry. <laughs> I just came right out. <laughs> This is so Aww, sweet. I'm hard. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my only concern is that when we first started going out, uh, the end. Oh, they're already going out. Oh, okay. Oh, this is gonna work out amazingly. Yeah, yeah. Well, this don't is great. Advice. Keep, Keep going. Hole, yeah. Yeah. Um, my only concern is that when we first started going out at the end of junior year, she said she was gay. <laughs> okay, that is a problem. Well, that's a, a lot. That is that's that is a, an issue. <laughs> that's <laughs> this is a fly in the ointment. Mm. Um. Uh, I want to go with her friend. I want to go with her as friends because okay. she. Oh, I want to go with her as friends because she is an awesome person. But I don't know what she will say. I know she enjoys going out with me because even when I suggest just watching a movie over Google, uh, over Google Meet, she asks to go to the theater or something more involved. I'm still going to ask her, but I would like to know how you think. Also, you guys are the best pod in the world. Facts. Aww. But thank you. This is interesting. Yeah, really interesting. Well, I can't tell so, if you guys are romantic. I can't tell yeah. if they're one. dating or not. It sounds like they sort of are just because, like, Google meets movie watch, and then they want to But then she says, no, let's meet in person. Yeah, let's, that's... Like, let's be, yeah. How certain... Did she mention... I, have, I guess I have questions. Did she mention that she was gay, like, once, and then was, like, never brought it up again? Like, I don't know mm. what... How gay is she? Is yeah. My <laughs> I think it's worth asking, yeah. like... I mean, if you guys are good friends, the next time you see her, I think it's mm. worth asking, like... So are you seeing any women or yeah. are you trying yeah. to, yep. to communicate crush on anyone right. like communicate and just ask because you yeah. don't you don't want to be like so you don't like dick. But yeah. <laughs> it is important to know where her head's at because it's possible that she's you know sexuality is a spectrum. It's sure. possible she likes you. Yeah. Yeah. I've liked men. Name them. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, go on. Tom Sawyer <laughs> from the book, handsome fella. 
Huck Finn. Huck Finn. Huck Finn. Yeah. Oh, well, my. I can't name them because maybe they're listening. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah Tom Sawyer's for sure. Yeah. Tom listening. Yeah. I, it's I w- just possible. I'm <laughs> saying. <laughs> This is w- actually good advice, though. That's good advice. This is good. I, w- I would say, like, try to clarify exactly what yep. your relationship is. Yeah. And then, if possible, that she's like, no, I still want to pursue something romantic with you. Yeah. Then do the plan because that's a really cute thing. Right. Yeah. What do you yeah. think? What have fun. You? Just have fun. Have fun. Yeah. Have I mean, fun. you guys said everything I wanted to say anyway, so it like, doesn't even matter. But, uh, yeah, that, that is tricky, though. And I feel like I, I get the sense that this person has a little bit of feelings for this person. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm. So I think... I think you should manage expectations. Very hard to do, but I feel like a conversation helps with that. And I feel like, uh, yeah, just understanding yourself and yes. what you want and what they want and where those overlap and or not overlap and go from there. Hell yeah, brother. For sure. All right, we got a short one. I want you to yes. weigh in on this. <laughs> I hate my cousin's boyfriend. Sometimes I want to punch him. Okay. End of submission. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts? Thoughts? Do it. <laughs> just who says it. no well that's the thing i feel like with family things you can like do it and then be like i was just kidding you know what i mean yeah, yeah. i'm just joking around you ever do something like that uh i've never no, no. you ever punch someone never punch someone ever wanted to i want to right now <gasps> which one of us who Both will be honored time. yes <laughs> whoa oh i'm so honored <laughs> uh no that's interesting i don't yeah i i don't know don't i wouldn't suggest violence right mm, yeah that's where we come in yeah uh, well there's there's so little go off of here mm. in this in this in this uh submission right like how close are you with your cousin right yeah i'm wondering like is this a cousin you like live in the same town does yeah because like i don't live very close by to most of my family and so right. like, i don't see them that often yeah so you like you can probably just be like all right i'll be, yeah, I'll be exactly. chill for a night or whatever can i uh do you guys know brian simpson comedian brian simpson no i don't he once said it's on a podcast oh, sorry nothing oh did you hear what i said no say it again no, i was gonna say uh the creator of the simpsons brian simpson yeah that's yeah, brian right. simpson yeah. oh i do yeah. know him. yeah yeah brian simpson, yeah. simpson, simpson i'm sorry simpson. that wasn't worth the it. simpsons brian that wasn't simpson. worth it at all <laughs> no i liked it yeah. it was well, worth it i'm gonna leave you just said it so quietly that you yeah. made it unworth i know it. this is why you guys are so fucking far. you're oppressing yourself you're so far I know. I know we gotta be closer together yeah yeah, yeah. We gotta get more. I want, I want you to be like the cousin's <laughs> you boyfriend. Like, you guys are two boobs. Lucas's boobs. No, just you guys are your heads, both boobs. Oh, oh, interesting. And mine is squishy. Yeah, I, I never lost my soft. Perky. I've always thought I was more of a left boob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting on the. What left. What does that? What does that yeah. mean? For, um, the smart one. Oh yeah, the smart one. <laughs> yeah, the and wise. I'm the hot one. Yeah, the right he's one. He's the he's the hot one with a heart of gold. Oh, that's always what the right boob. Good is. cop, bad cop. Yeah. Oh, that's what I'm thinking. Ooh, I think I'm more bad cop. I think I'm more good cop yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I'm sorry. I, I don't know. Yeah. The, I've never listened to this pod in my life. Well, oh, we're a cab. <laughs> <laughs> no cop. No cop. But anyway, the, um, the thing that uh, Brian Simpson yes. once said on a podcast, he said, he said, as I've gotten older, something I've realized is like how what how much distance do I need to create between me and someone for me to still be able to love them? Mm. Which is that some there are some people that you can like. Like you, you can live with each other. You can be yeah. in a relationship because you love everything about them, and, and their right. presence makes you happy. And sometimes there are people that you can only take so much, and sure. then you need to be separate, and that's okay. Yeah. And then you still love them, but you just you need space. Yeah. And so that it's sort of like instead of saying I hate this person, just being like I need more distance from this yeah. person in order to be okay with them. Right. And that. So I'm thinking that maybe what do you have to do with your cousin's boyfriend? Just be like, hey, I need distance <laughs> from you. Get out of my get yeah, out of my I'm grill. Not gonna, I'm not gonna lie though. If I were, uh, if my girlfriend's cousin was like, dude, I need distance from you, I'd be like, what the fuck? I don't <laughs> yeah, know you, dude. That's a good point. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, fair. But that's why it depends on like how close you are to this yeah. boy, boyfriend. Well, it's also like if this person is being an asshole. Yeah. Then I'm sure that other people feel this way too, and you're not the only, only one. one. Oh yeah. So right. you could talk to someone and be like, I think that this person is being an and asshole. And that's powerful. Yeah. To fucking gossip about someone you guys both like hate. You know what I mean? Mm. That feels oh, amazing. Oh, it feels good. Yeah. Sometimes it's very validating. Like, sometimes it's not just gossip. Oh, for sure. You need to just be like, hey, can I run something by you? This person said something that I don't appreciate. What do you think? Yeah. And sometimes they'll be like, girl, I agree. And other times they'll be like, well, here's what I think of that. And maybe yeah. here's a more generous read. And when those people say stuff like that, I'm like, amazing. shut the fuck up. Talk shit with me. Amazing. But, yeah. you know. That's amazing. That was amazing. 
Indeed. Good advice. Have, all right, one more. You're going to love more. this one. I'm going to love this one? Oh, this you're is a juicy one. This is very one. juicy. Okay, all right. Oh, yeah. I'm not nervous. Uh, Don't I'm, be nervous. I'm in a slight predicament. I'm scared. My, <laughs> I'm in a slight predicament. My dad, who's 50, is dating this young lady. Let's call her Julia, and she's 30. Anyway, they've been dating for going on three years and are about to move in together, but I have a problem. I, 16F, have a fat crush. Like, genuinely, Julia is the sweetest person I've ever met, and she's so pretty. Anyway, she's moving in, and I'm stuck. It's been too long, and my crush hasn't gone away. Oh, no. Anyway, hope you have a great week. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, like, best case scenario. You know what I mean? Is it, though? Because, like, she's going to be... Yeah. The tension, though. Oh, my God. Tension, but also she's going to have to just, like, know that she's, like, banging her dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're just presuming that they're going to bang. No, no, no. I mean, st- new stepmom is banging dad. Oh, sure, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, they're banging. Right, right, right. Not this girl who's... No, it's who's, a bad situation, yeah, no. you're right. We I take everything back. We've never gotten anything as good as I have a crush on my stepmom. Never yeah. gotten anything as good. Oh, my God, dude. I, I have some videos that she could, she could watch. <laughs> and that's what art's for. That's, uh, I will that's not, my advice. <laughs> I will not name on camera which comedian told me this. I will tell you guys off camera. Ooh. But one time a comedian came to my house for like a party and I didn't know him particularly well, but I knew everyone else. I know this. And he started <laughs> instantly, insta- two minutes into the conversation, not one minute in, was like, yeah, I used to live with my stepsister and I asked her out when we were living in the same place and she said no and I said okay and we moved on with our lives. And I was like, why would you ever volunteer that that. information? You couldn't waterboard that out of me. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, I remember getting... I I was in the room getting told that. I was like, I feel uncomfortable. Yeah. I felt very uncomfortable. It's weird, but also there's weirder things. What would you do? I I thought you were about to say weird, but kind of hot. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know. Like, if you... Okay. Oh, another can I say another no, I'm worried to say anything about this story yeah. is that he was like yeah she uh he, she got ugly later on okay so this guy saying that. Yeah, and then he person. showed us a picture and she was very pretty <laughs> wow you gotta lower that guy's standards uh no I think it's okay I feel like if I heard someone dating their step sibling I'd be mm. like it's a little weird but like not that bad they're not related you know what yeah. I mean yeah Sure. I Sorry for defending yeah. you guys. I love that. I think <laughs> Gossip Girl should have just gone with that because there was this there was a plot point where uh two parents were dating yeah. and their kids wanted to date each other. Right. And but it was kinda like if the if these two kids date, then the parents can't also date at the same time. But like, and cares? I was like, why not? Yeah, why not? Honestly, like, why not? People like like incest is a real thing. Like that's weirder. Like you should focus on that. Oh like, yeah. Don't yeah, worry yeah. about these step kids. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Have you guys seen Cruel Intentions? I've yeah, not seen Cruel I Intentions. Pretty hot movie. movie. Great movie. Wait, what Great happens movie. in the movies? Is it incest? Uh, it's step. 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 Oh, okay. yeah. incest. Thing. And then uh, what's uh, Clueless? Clueless. Yeah. Yeah. S- step brother. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Never seen so that movie. We can, uh, I do think that like. Paul Rudd's parents are cousins. Oh, that's that's this is this shit's weird. Like actual incest is weird, but step stuff well, is like not somewhat distant incest. cousins, but they are related. not condoning incest. We are yeah, unless condoning it results famously. in Paul Rudd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what? Maybe that's why he's so ageless. Maybe we should oh, all shit. be that's the key. Our cousins. Bring back inbreeding. Well, one of my favorite yeah. comics, uh, Rami Malik. No, Rami uh-huh. Malik. Yusuf. <laughs> Rami Malik. <laughs> That was on purpose. Anyway, uh, he has a whole bit so, about this. So, airplane oh, nice. food is weird. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pretty good Rami should we have Malik. a Should we have an imperse- imperson- impersonation off? For can the- you do Rami Malik? No, I can't. I can do one. Aziz who, who can you do? That's it. What, Wait, who, who can you do? It's just Aziz Ansari. Just Aziz Ansari. Do it, yeah. do it, do it. Right now? Yeah. Um. Okay. Is that pretty good? That was... No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You guys want to get tacos later? Yeah. I'm my mind is blown. blown. You guys are doing that really well. I think it'd be funny if you did John Mulaney and I did Aziz and Sarah. We had a conversation as, as us. You know, yeah, as, yeah, wait, as well, what's the, what's the topic? Pick it. Um, Being canceled. So, uh, <laughs> John, I heard you uh, cheat on your wife. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can do an okay. I have one line I can do of John Mulaney. Oh yeah. Wait. 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 What? Petunia. Oh. Yeah. Petunia. That's all I can say. Though. Yeah. I have tried other words. I'm like, it doesn't work. Petunia. Petunia. 
That's pretty good, you guys. Wow, that's pretty good. Wow, pretty good. Pretty good. So, <laughs> so we have to go back Aziz? to these. Wait, can you do? Oh, it? can I do Aziz? Um, let me think about it for a second. Um, oh, <laughs> what I did wasn't that bad. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing about what I did. I was in the wrong, <laughs> but <laughs> that's really good. But, but <laughs> we got tacos but, after. Yeah. And I'm telling you, these tacos, they changed everything. I'm sorry. That's, <laughs> now, now I'm indulging. <laughs> they changed everything. They changed. Hello. All right. I'm sorry. I feel like to <laughs> me, I do Aziz like he's a South Park character. Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah. My name is, I'm at the comedy cellar now. <laughs> Respect uh, my authority. Yeah. My name's Aziz. Aziz, Aziz is sorry. Like, yeah. <laughs> everything's fine right now in my life. I'm just laying, you know. <laughs> was it you you always go into an indian accent every try every time you try to do an, an accent I, right every that's time we try to do an accent <laughs> i always <laughs> go into an indian accent that's right because um i support them you yeah. know what's crazy yes you, you guys watch the newest aziz i feel like i'm sorry i, I haven't like seen the rambling. new special no i have not but at no. the end of the new special for aziz and sorry there's a clip of him doing stand-up for like the first time at the comedy cell which is pretty cool like because the comedy cellar used to be like kind of a shitty place to do yeah. comedy. So he yeah. was doing like a bringer show there and he had a little bit of an Indian accent. <gasps> you know what I mean? So he like, he like, Ooh, Oh, and his natural way of speaking. Right. And so he like, Whoa, taught himself out of it in a way. Whoa. Which I think is really, you guys should just watch that part. Like skip the whole thing and then just watch that part. Cause it's really interesting to me. Oh my God. Um, I do want to watch the new spot. I think he's yeah. good at stand up. Is that the one where oh, he's yeah. like, Sitting down at the yeah, comedy, the comedy cell? Yep. yeah, yeah. God, I hate when people sit on sit the stool. stool. Sitting yeah, on the yeah. stool just led to like the worst takes. I like when they hump the stool. That's the best yeah. take. <laughs> <laughs> There's a. Do you know Allison Roman, the chef? Celebrity yes, chef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Um, she's come. She's going on a tour, a uh, post cancellation tour, Ooh. and I really want her to sit on a stool, a stool, while yeah. she's presenting her book and like tell jokes like a canceled comic. Oh my god. I was really hoping you say, I really want her to hump a stool. I really want <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, Gabby, I really that's cool. Want that. <laughs> I guess yeah. this leads nicely back around to our stepmom conversation. Yes. Which my, yes. my advice is like, if you have a crush on someone who lives in your house, like, I guess enjoy, like, know that it's innocent. Enjoy looking at them. Enjoy speaking to them. Yeah. And like, it probably will pass. Right. You got to, and it, I know in the moment a crush is so intense and you oh, yeah. feel like it'll never go away. It'll pass. It'll, but, it'll, but, yeah. It'll you, your world is still so small, even right. though it feels so big. And right. allow yourself to just feel these feelings and let them flow. And eventually they will pass and you're yeah. going to meet a lot more hotties in your future. Yeah. yeah. Just be an adult about it. I guess you're, yeah. you're, you're 16, which is tough. You're a lot more tough. stepmoms in your future. Oh, totally. there's a lot. There's a lot of MILFs out there. And here's the thing. I feel with crushes... Uh, I don't know about you guys. I'm sure this has happened to y'all, but mm. like you sort of, uh, uh, what's the word? Glorify them in your mind, romanticize yeah. them, yeah, yeah, and yeah, you yeah, get yeah, to yeah. know them. You're like, oh, I actually don't like you at all. You know yeah. what I mean? So that's very much, or not even like I don't like you at all, but like it's changed. Like I yeah. don't see you in a certain way anymore. I don't think that applies to this girl because like she says, I was hoping it wouldn't be, but right. they moved in, and now she it's just more intense. Did they say she moved in or I she's think, gonna? I move think in? she's in the process of moving. In, I think I she's moving in soon. No, yeah. wait, but right? I have a problem. I have a uh, genuine. Uh, that's no, she's of, moving in, and I'm. So, oh no, no. So she hasn't moved in yet. Right. No. So I feel like um, she'll really know this person. When yeah. she like, moves in, you're gross. gonna like smell her farts. And yeah. Be like, oh yeah. I like you even more. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, that, that was like, what if me. it turns her yeah, on? What like, if that's what if you're into that? Yeah. Uh, she's yeah. like creeping outside the bathroom. God damn, just, like, even sniffing. her shit smell like flowers. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> they genuinely smell like roses. <sighs> yeah. No, it won't happen. It'll pass. It'll pass. Yeah. Yeah. Crushes pass. All right. Yeah. Crushes pass. You'll be on to the next stepmom. Right. Also, yeah. like, well, you're 16. I'm, I'm assuming you'll probably maybe move out after you're like 18 or whatever. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Your yeah. world. You're gonna be thrust with so many new Life people. things. Yeah. It, it, you're. It's. It's gonna work out. It but, really is. Yeah. But it will probably feel pretty intense for. A it's gonna bit. be intense, but you'll make it out. You'll yeah. be all right. And they might break up. In that case, you're in the clear. Shoot your shot. Shoot in your that shot. case, get in there. Shoot your shot, which would be yeah. funny to do indeed but it would be weird art we are coming towards the, the end? end of the episode no! i'm sad no! to say but we're gonna but you know this segment i do you're a listener you do. yeah and you've probably been preparing i sort of what have you been pre <laughs> all right let's get into it self-perception yeah. corner you, sure. you we don't even need to say it yeah i know say how you believe so you i think <laughs> uh i i uh people have compared me to uh aziz and sorry i've i've 
when I'm excited, I sort of go into a Z's. I do it less now. Ooh. Yeah, I get ah, Whoa. I get like really excited in that way. Uh, but I've also heard I get this frequently, not not as frequently anymore. I, I guess I've changed. Uh, people will compare me to Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Apparently, I have a similar energy as he does. Him, Aziz mm-hmm. Ansari. Uh, I get puppy energy. Um, nice guy. I don't know. I seem like a nice dude. Uh, yeah, I think that's how people perceive me. Kind of excited, excited, nice guy. Yeah. yeah. You, I mean, you hit it on the head. I feel <laughs> like. Really, yeah, you did. It's yeah. like golden. It's giving golden retriever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's giving I've heard like, that. Very much, yeah. You yeah. are. It's But it's so great to have That's, in the I'm world. Cry. It's That's such so good sweet. energy. Yeah. Thanks, you guys. go to You go to open mics and, and people are like, you know, unfriendly. like, And then you come <laughs> yeah, around. Doing, and, yeah. yeah, they're like, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. pissing and shitting themselves. Sure. And then you come around and you're just talking and nice and genuine. I, I love... This is the thing I used to I have done since I was a kid. I love finding a quiet person and like bombarding them. Just be like, you <laughs> talk to me. I also love thing. doing that. Yeah, I I'm yeah. honestly I'm working on a joke right now about how one of my best friends is like the most soft spoken person I've ever seen. But mm. I feel like deep down he's like a loud person yes. with a quiet voice. Yep. Mm, when absolutely. he sings karaoke, it sounds like he's talking normally. Uh whoa. You've met Billy. Yes. Yeah. Do I know Billy? He's he's, he's a good so friend of mine from college. He's oh, cool. not a comedian. He's, he, he's Thank a God. really nice. Yeah, I like yeah. him I a lot. He's wonderful and he's so quiet and I just love He's so him. entertaining to yeah. watch function. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I agree with you. But I know I, I love doing that and yeah. I feel like I see that in you, someone who's like I willing love, yeah. to like talk to people and notice them and like open them up. But it's sort of gotten me into tough territory because I feel like I'm a, I'm a person who immediately thinks someone's closer to me than they actually are. Mm. And I'm just like, oh, I have to like, I have to like set boundaries. Like this is, or not for me, you know what I mean? Like I don't, I'm yeah, not actually that close with them, you know? In my, for me though, I only think of that as a very inviting quality about yes. you. But it can get, it can get, it can get tricky. I guess. Yeah. Maybe like, every, not everyone is as cool as me. Yeah. But, but no, no, people, yeah. I think people have naturally, and this is a good thing, like a sense of, you know, where we stand in terms of friendship. Yeah, that's fair. And I can't. I don't want to be overbearing, but sometimes I am. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't think you're overbearing. I've never felt like you. I've never felt Not overwhelmed yet. by your spirit. I'm trying I, to be better at it, but yeah, no, like yeah, I. I but will yeah, text. I'll text pretty intensely. I'm like, what's up? Tell me everything. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I, I. I. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. But um, no, because I, I don't like you guys. No, I'm kidding. Cool. I know. But, <laughs> I'm and kidding. I love you guys. And you should. I really yeah. do. I love you too. You guys are so sweet. To, You're yeah. so sweet. Stop, I'm gonna cry. Stop it. I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna uh, push these stop. cameras. Oh. Stop. It. Uh. All come at the same time. Yeah. Gonna, yeah. You you always also it's never just an empty energy. You always have something like really tangible I'm to offer cry. as well. That's so sweet. Which Thank is you. is just like I I once met up with you because I wanted to pick your brain yeah, about yeah, producing, yeah. producing and marketing shows and stuff, and you had it, wonderful advice to give. Like you you have. You just you have so much beautiful positive energy to offer uh-huh. people, and I and Correct. yes, I was I'm excited that you called your show first impressions. Yeah, because we talked about that. We Remember? did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was yeah like, you yeah. should definitely call it, it was, that. It, that was it was on it was in that meeting that I actually came up with that name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, wow. yeah. dude, I know. It's I'm I'll trying to get it. like a second date. It's difficult. Oh yeah, it's yeah. difficult. Like shows walking so stuff. Getting a second date. Indeed. Yeah. A second yes. date. Yeah. yeah. But dude, I hope it works out for you, bro. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and I will say one last thing about you as well is. Um, I really liked being on your podcast yeah. because I feel like when I was explaining Glee to you, you were like taking it seriously. And I loved that. Yeah, of course. No one takes Glee seriously. But we should. But I think you said something like no, we shouldn't. it seemed like a perfect <laughs> storm. Yes. And that was like that was such an articulate and interesting way to like <laughs> parrot back kind of what I just said to you. So I kinda like that like it feels like you're curious. It feels like you want to learn about other people. Yeah. Mm. No, I think Perfect Storm, I think about the Perfect Storm a lot because I feel like a lot of people blow up in terms of like show business because yeah. of Perfect Storms. Like mm. the right place, right time. You're ready. You know, you're like, yeah. you have your shit ready. And it's just like, it's, it's, yeah, it's sort of a, you got to be there kind of thing. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. I wish you were on the pod, but you would never know. No, mm. you'll never know. You'll Lucas. never know. So why did dead. you ghost me? What's going on? Yeah, What's why'd happening, you, why'd buddy? you ghost? No, hey, you're just a busy um, guy. I get it. <laughs> you don't have to I'm really kidding You don't have to <laughs> I can tell you feel uh, bad about it <laughs> I'm a busy guy You know I just I gotta I gotta be I gotta be I gotta be real With how I spend my energy And sometimes you can't Spend it on uh, Up and comers podcast Whoa! Whoa That's fair Had to be <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so. All right, Art, our up and comer. Yeah. Where can people find you? Yes. Uh, at Fart Kai, F A R T C A I. All, all social media, I suppose. 
perfect. That's it. Yeah. Oh, and uh, do you have any uh, shows? Anything else you want to plug? Oh uh, yeah, the Jerry Seinfeld presents show. That's where my baby. Fuck yeah, Jerry Seinfeld presents on Instagram. Yep. Yes. It's a uh, yeah. Beautiful, Gabby. Anything you want to plug? <sighs> I want to keep. I want to talk forever. This is so fun. Yeah. This is so fun. I'm sorry. Um, but... anything I want to plug? Um, please send me thoughts about the latest season of Netflix's The Circle. <laughs> if you got this far into the episode, I want you to DM me. I will respond. Yeah. If you have intelligent articulate thoughts about this season of the circle mm. Mm. indeed and i have shows so follow me very yeah. good i also have shows you can uh i post about them on instagram you can also find them on my website if you are outside of new york please sign up for my mailing list and tell mm. me where you would like me to perform i'm trying to gather intel about nice. what are Come good to spots Brazil. to hit Come to I gotta go to Brazil. Is that a, wait, what is that a thing? And they're on like a like Lady Gaga's like Instagram or like Selena Gomez. Like just random people will comment like "Come to Brazil", come to Brazil. as if they're gonna like walk over to, <laughs> to Brazil. Brazil. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cute. Yeah, we're, sick, we're in though. Austin, Texas. This is walking distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can do it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, mailing list on my website, also in the links in my bios on social media. You'll be able to find it. Thank you very much for was watching and listening, and stay tuned for and lo and sign up for our supercast because we're gonna uh, come back with some bonus stuff with Archive. But for now, thank you very much for being a wonderful. Thanks for guy. having you, me. Archive. You guys are amazing. We've been two nosy meow cats, and we always will be. Indeed, and we will see you next week forever. Yeah.